see if we can see if we can get some shots of some of these little of some of these little airplanes. Look at this. Got lights. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that is cool. That was good. That was good. <laughs> the 
picture is keeping it in. <laughs> Well, well, good evening, everybody. Uh, first question is, can you hear me? Because I've got a uh, yet another different microphone set up. So uh, always want to know if it's actually working. The little meter's moving and bouncing around. So I guess, uh, I guess maybe it is. Anyway, in my effort to become more and more mobile here during these workshops so I can move around, I come up with... Uh, Th thank you, Bill. And thank you very much, Bill. I appreciate that as usual. Thank you. Uh, Mike, Night Train, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Um, well, I, I guess I'll bring Art, Art is here and uh, sitting there impatiently. Uh, and I'll bring him in and then I'll say hi to everybody in the chat. So without further ado, it's Art. Hi, yeah. Art. That's, hey, great uh -oh. to be here. I got a big echo on you. Yeah, why is yeah. that? I, uh, me, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's because I think I got my speakers on here. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's it. That's what it is. Okay. There we All go. right. No problem. No problem. Just too many buttons. You know, and I'm sitting watching. Yep. Uh, I'm watching Mel's uh, stream, waiting for for it to end and. <laughs> wanting to get started with mine so I wasn't paying much attention and all of a sudden I realized that it was getting real close so I, I extended my uh, my uh, pre-show thing a couple of minutes to give me a chance to get set up so I basically started at three minutes after eight tonight okay. instead of right on the money it's tough it's tough when you're trying to follow somebody yeah yeah so yeah. let me say hi to everybody here we got a uh, a good crowd to start off with uh, yeah we do uh, Jody, Jody always comes in and, and half an hour, an hour before, and he uh, at the top of the chat says he'll be waiting. He'll be on Mel's. So, <laughs> and then Craig, man, Kiwi, how you doing? John Cuppy's here. Good to see you guys. And uh, Jody's back. Kenny Cardosa, thanks for coming in. Rick Halber's here. How you doing, Rick? Some guy named Art Co. 
uh, Steve Carpenter. Hey, Steve, thanks for coming in, buddy. And uh, we got uh, Marco Kiwi, drone shots, rerun, rerun, Steve Carpenter. Night Train, Mike, how you doing? Um, I can't hardly read that. Rat R H. <laughs> What's up, humans? He's been here before. <laughs> How you doing, my friend? JSK Enterprises. He's been here before, too. Good evening, sir. Let me give you a blue wrench, because uh, somehow the last time you were here, I just didn't, didn't seem to get that done. Bill, Coast to Coast Drones. Good to see you. Um, Timeless Truths, how are you doing? And uh, Arizona Drone Dude is here. And I might be. Hey, Mike, how you doing? And let's see who else I missed. Carlos, uh, I'll get to you. I see Carlos sitting in the green room. We'll get him in here in a minute. And uh, I think that's it. If I missed anybody, we'll catch you. We'll catch you in, in, in a little while. And uh, mm -hmm. let me bring uh, let me bring Carlos in. So uh, he won't need all the donuts. Good yeah. evening. Hey, how you yeah. doing, buddy? Are you Mitch, Mr. Hart? Uh, good. I'm doing. Hey. I'm doing good. Carlos. So, so y'all, y'all remember uh, last week when I had technical difficulties? <laughs> <laughs> you remember that at, at my on Thursday night, my stream yeah, on yeah. Thursday, oh. uh, my monitor just desynced. Oh yeah, that's right. And I yeah. I couldn't I couldn't get to I couldn't get to 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 anything, and uh, <laughs> so I rearranged all kinds of stuff the way I lay it out on my monitors for tonight. So that right. if that happens, I at least have control over OBS. Uh, there you go. And uh, I, can, I can control the stream. So uh, if you see me looking all over the place, trying to find something, yeah. I, gotta get I gotta get used to this new, uh, to this new layout. Uh, also, well, I, had, I had something happen to me on my, on my show this afternoon. I know I was there. Yeah. I, I was there. <laughs> well, maybe some of the folks in the well down there in chat. We'll go right ahead and tell them. Yeah, during right, right in the middle of my show, uh, I just had a momentary power outage here, to where it was just like somebody flipped the switch really quick, and all of a sudden, blank. And I'm like, oh. So I had to reboot my computer and right. get back in and uh, finally start the stream. And uh, so that last show is in two parts. So, but got her going, went back on and did it and plowed right through it. Yeah, I saw that. What happened uh, right in the middle of everything, it just said live stream ended. <laughs> Boom. <Yeah. laughs> just Gone. The weird, so the I went, weird part was is I got thrown into that live stream without having to touch a button when he redid it. It just threw me back into a room. It, well, I don't know how it did that, but you, that was strange. Uh, I I went away. I was looking at it on my cell phone and and uh, streaming it over to my TV. So ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So anyway, I I I've, I'm trying a couple of weird things tonight. So I want okay. you guys to uh, cool. just look out if for some reason all of a sudden you can't hear me. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's I'm, any I'm, questions, do you want us to ask those questions in between or no? You mean like in the chat? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Unless I'm unless I'm on a real roll, you know. Yeah, I won't. I'm <laughs> just gonna. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, but I I want to try some cool things tonight uh, okay. before we get start before we start talking about the uh, the airplanes and drones and all that kind of stuff. Right. Uh, because I know a lot of guys do live streams and a lot of guys are interested in in. Uh, some of the some of the stuff so i thought that um why not try this i've got this uh ip camera and i seem to have it working um and i'm gonna i'm gonna go over here i got it on on a tripod here so i'm gonna turn i'm gonna go into it and it seems to work and i don't know why i could i couldn't keep it working last time but uh -huh. um And now it won't work. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. I, I may have to. Uh, no, it should work. And it's not working. So it may very well be. Now, there it goes. Okay. 
All right, so, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go over to that. So that's coming from the, from the portable camera here, okay? And uh, so I can, uh, um, I can take this portable camera, unhook it from the tripod and uh, point it at anything, which was the whole purpose of this, was to point right. it over here at, at the airplanes and, and maybe, you know, going close and all that. So, and I got the wireless mic on and uh, the wireless mic is, uh, is in my, the, the transmitter's down here in my pocket. So I'm, I'm all mic'd up. But the only thing that was tethering me was the headphones, okay? Oh. Got the headphones on. There I am. Oh, got to hold with this hand. Okay, so I got the headphones on. So since uh, Comica sent me that second wireless microphone, I said, I wonder if, and it, and it has a, uh, uh, a, headphone, just a headphone jack and the uh, transmitter part of it, which I've got sitting on this, um, sitting on this little tiny tripod over here. Right. That? So if I turn this little, and I got it wired into my mixer, so let's, I'm gonna turn this. No audio. Uh, audio's gone. Uh -oh. He's turning it on, on, that's why. No, no, oh, no. Okay. Oh, okay, now we hear. Yeah. I, I probably uh, pulled the wire. You're faint, in. just so you know you're faint. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm talking into this microphone now. Can you hear me? Very uh, faint. Yeah. Very really? faint. Very okay. faint. Hold on. A second. And there's no uh, oh, image now. There's no what? Image. Oh, 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 that's on my IP cam here. Yeah. Let me. Okay. See, see I told you this was going to be fun. Uh, let me get back <laughs> to this. And uh, for some reason, you should uh, be a able little, to hear a me. A little bit louder when you got close to something. Yeah, I know, but there's some something strange going on here. All right, let's okay. try yeah. this mic again. Let's try to wire nice. this mic again. Uh. Okay, there we go. Ah, Can much better. Yeah, and yep. I don't know why this, this it, it's something I must have set on the wire funny or something, but let me clip that on my waist here. So. There you go. So that's it. All right, so now I've got, uh, I've got the IP camera working. All right, got the IP camera working. I got the mic working. So now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to, I'm going to, I turned on the transmitter. I'm going to take my headphones and unplug them here out of here so give me a second mm -hmm. and plug them into the headphone jack on this thing and turn this on okay uh -huh. all right now i can hear i can hear you guys now. oh cool Great. and i'm actually uh i'm actually now totally wireless man so what? That, so that, I can that, I can that, I can get that, I can get up here, and put this headphone receiver in my pocket, and you guys can still hear me, correct? Yep. When and I don't, I'll let you know. And I can actually go for a walk. <laughs> out out here, see, uh -huh. and into the into the room where I keep my this is where I this spare bathroom is where I keep all my model my models and things. See, um. so. Uh, We've got uh, one of the flying wings there, the Sonic model binary, a nice little glider, 100 mile an hour monster thing, a couple more airplanes and wings, a couple extra radios. But this is kind of cool because I can, I can, I, I can go outside. I can do anything with this. So I, it's actually working, and it might, it might continue to work for at least two minutes. So <laughs> anyway, it was, it was something I wanted to try, and you know how you try stuff. And uh, it always works when you're not on a live stream. But as soon as you get on a live stream, it stops. It stops working. So the only thing I got to be careful is I got wires all over me here. All right. So we'll, we'll leave this running for a while and see uh, and see if it works. I got a a, a battery for this mm -hmm. this uh, camera here. And that's still working. So I'm just going to leave it on and see if it stays on and see if it screws anything up. So that, uh, that's an interesting little thing. And it actually, it actually works. Uh, I, I wonder if somebody actually makes a, uh, I know they do because they use them in the, in like football games where they have a, 
microphone and the headset and the headset that does both two-way communications that would be perfect for uh, if it was wireless for a live stream like this. So at any rate, that, uh, that worked out pretty cool. Um, Rick Halber's here, isn't he, Rick? Yep. Yeah, you're here. Rick, Rick Halber's here, John, uh, RC Fun Diversions, John is here. Oh, okay, cool. You got yeah, one Mike question, me. well, I don't know, one Go comment ahead. from uh, Craig, and he said something about interviewing someone from New Zealand. He said, here's an idea, Mitch, interview Bruce from N-I-N-Z. He's a knowledgeable chap on all RC flying. He's talking about Bruce Bruce Simpson. I'm not sure. X-Jet? Is that who you're talking about? No, Bruce from N-I. I'm not sure. New Zealand. I'm not sure what N-I stands for. Excuse I, my I ignorance. Don't, I don't know, but if he's talking about uh, X-Jet, that's a guy that's like Ken Huron's size channel. I, <laughs> I doubt mm. that he'd want to come play in my little workshop here <laughs> but I, I watch i watch a lot of his videos he's very very good he's uh, very knowledgeable there's another uh another guy that's really knowledgeable in setting this stuff up uh, all the esoteric uh stuff like uh, rg pilot and and uh inav is uh painless 360. yeah i know him. yeah he's uh, he's got a great channel and uh it's very uh very informative, very informative. I, I, I enjoy watching his stuff. Uh, Rick is here, and I wanted to show a little a little video here real quick for, for my friend Rick. And let me find it here. <laughs> there it is. And let me get it running. And this, and there's no sound to it, but this is my first outdoor flight of the little Tiny Hawk uh, freestyle oh, okay. that, Rick, yeah, that, yeah. Rick, that Rick gave me. And if you look down at the bottom of the uh, on-screen display, it says Halber THF, Tiny Hawk Freestyle. So, <laughs> and I flew, it Halber Hawk. I, I, uh, I flew it outside <laughs> my house. And this is the first time I flew it. I had no idea what to expect. And it's a, it's a little rocket ship. Why is it? <laughs> yeah, on two assets. It really goes. And I don't, I really don't want to go too far away because I think it could use a little, a little stronger. Uh, yeah, definitely. What you did to, what did you do to an 89 or 99? Or the Rush that? camera, I think. Yeah, right? the Rush. The, I put the Rush uh, uh, ba uh, Tiny uh, VTX, the 350 milliwatt one in right. that uh, Tyro 89, and that. Uh, yeah, but that was the only thing, and also it probably would be more fun if it had a a, a regular like a D16 uh, uh, a receiver in it instead of the little built-in one because I kept getting uh, range critical. Warning. Yeah, but I, the, I don't think it's accurate, but I, I get the same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't really that worried about it, but. Uh, but it flies I, really smooth considering the size of it, right? Yeah, it was really cool. And I, I just uh, uh, didn't know what to expect from it. I, I, so I just, you know, didn't want to venture too far unless I lose the video feed, but I kept it right. in fairly close and, uh, and it was fun. So I thought Rick could get a kick out of seeing that. And yeah, he just to, commented, "Cool, I like it." Good. I, I hope to. I hope to fly. But look, but that thing's fast, man. Before oh, you yeah. know it, you you got to be turning around the other way. <laughs> and you you probably didn't change the angle of the camera either, right? Uh, I, I'm. I think no, I'm just cameras, saying it's, it's adjustable and it can go faster yeah. if you want it. Yeah. No, I I have it probably about twenty degrees. Uh, right. And, and uh, actually. Yeah, if you look, when I keep the horizon in the center, it actually slows down a little bit. When I, when I want to go fast and I put the nose down, you'll notice that the horizon goes, the horizon goes up. But I just made a short little flight. I could have gone a lot, a lot longer. But uh, no rolls, would, no flips. No, I didn't. I, I didn't even think about it. I was just kind of concentrating Proving. on uh, trying to keep it from going in the canal or landing on a roof or something <laughs> like that. You know, or in that, or in that big puddle at the end of the driveway. It was wet as hell that. out there. We had a lot, had had a lot of rain. It was very wet everywhere. I didn't want to land it somewhere in the water. So I was just flying it around, and I, I don't really like flying 
in the neighborhood there because you know you never know what what these stupid neighbors might say so yeah they'll find you sexy flying and then you'll have, have neighbors coming to you yeah. mitch take me for a ride yeah, yeah there you go <laughs> a ride anyway, along anyway it was kind of fun and uh, i thought rick would get a kick out of seeing that so mm -hmm. i queued i queued that up for tonight Nathaniel um, Lee. what am i missing in the chat is an Anafi better than the Mavic Air? I can't help you with that. I don't have an Anafi. Ray yeah. Kelly's here. Hi, Ray. How you doing? And uh, Nathaniel Lee. Yeah, Nathaniel Lee put a message in the chat around 3 o'clock this afternoon. Said, hi, guys. A little early. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Lockwood is here. Chris Hope is here. Hey, man, is look he? at the crowd. Look at the crowd we got tonight. Yeah. yeah Mel just joined us. Yeah, I sent out a bunch of invites. Come on, guys. Come on in here with us and... Uh, Learn, learn a little bit about a uh, little bit about FPV and stuff. So uh, I wonder if my uh, is my camera still working here. Let's see. Uh, is it still working? It, it is. It's still working. See, last week it crapped out after about a minute or two, didn't it? It did okay. So the idea of this is now that I'm I'm all wired up, I can bring this camera over here and set it and set it down right here like this mm -hmm. and uh, hang on a second where is the uh, there it is mm -hmm. I notice thing this is a very strange tripod there it goes and I can tilt it I'm looking at myself, aren't I? Yes. Uh, yeah. Got it yeah, got it backwards. It's mm. a cell phone, so the, the the screen is on the back and the camera's on the front. Uh, right. Can you All just right, swipe so the camera? All right, go ahead. You got it. No, no I could do it the other way, but the idea is if I'm using it as a camera, it's nice to see what I'm shooting by looking at the screen on the back. Makes sense. Like a regular, like a regular camera. Right. So at any rate, that uh, has it look pretty sharp. Does it look okay? Oh, yeah. No, Can you we're see looking it? at the right wing. Correct. Right wing. So this is the, uh, this thing is uh, ready to test fly now. Um, and I, I was hoping to do it today, but the weather, uh, the weather was so bad that uh, uh, it's overcast, foggy this morning. Mm -hmm. Then it got windy. But uh, this is the, uh, the Dart XL. Oh, and cool. it's, uh, I want to try to show you. Yeah. Some of the some of the things I don't want to talk hey, uh, about too much. Mitch, you got uh, uh, smoke coming out of your left wing. Smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Hope not. Don't don't don't, don't say stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is a tiny little battery. It takes a it takes a really oh, huge, big hunkin battery that fills up this whole battery compartment. Right. But I just have this, I have this little, I use a, it's a 4,500 milliamp four cell. This is just a little battery to use to, uh, to fire it up and uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna fire up the radio to and I'm gonna fire up the little FPV receiver, which you can't see on the screen. Let me see if I can adjust that so that you can see that right over there is a is a little little fpv receiver and mitch uh, when you buy these things do you get extra wings no 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 if you break them you break them you know and they you can get an extra wing but you may break everything but the wing so gotcha no, I don't break. I'm lucky with airplanes. I don't don't break too many airplanes. So this is the uh, Dart XL. So we will select the model. Select model. Okay. And uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to plug in plug in the battery. And there you see the uh, oh okay. the on-screen display. Right. And it'll start it'll start beeping but it goes through it's kind of neat it tells you uh, it tells you um, 
I hope I'm not making you dizzy, but it actually tells you, is that upside down? No. no. Oh, okay. It, it actually tells you uh, all of the steps that it's gone through while it's, while it's booting up and everything. And then it's flashing up in the corner there how many satellites. Uh, the reason you don't see a picture is because I have the lens cap on it. But I could take the lens cap off mm -hmm. the camera here. <clears throat> and uh, then you'll see. Yeah, you'll see the picture. But it's easier to see the on-screen display stuff with the lens cap on. Yeah. So anyway, that goes, that, goes through its, that goes through its deal. And uh, so it does have an on-screen display. This is running Arju Pilot. The camera that I put in it is the uh, Cadex Turtle. I've had this thing laying around that I haven't been using it and it, and it records 1080p, 60 frames a second to a, to a built-in SD card and it's got the little, uh, the little controller board, 20 by 20 stack. And uh, on the front of this thing, it, it had this hole here was for the uh, the uh, FPV camera, and then this is a GoPro mount over here. But right. since I'm using a, a, a combination FPV and high def camera here uh, instead of the GoPro, I found on Thingiverse a, 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 a 3D mount that uh, I was able to print. Let me see if I. I think I have a light here too that I can turn on. There it is. Um, is that too bright? At any rate, you can see, you can see there that we go. That's good. you can see that that that's all mounted in a right. see the frame that runs all the way around. It's a 3D printed frame that holds the camera, it holds the board, and everything. And then it's exactly the same size as a GoPro Hero. So it just slid right on in there, right? Exactly like, you know, like you would slide in a GoPro. And then I just took a couple little blobs of hot glue and stuck them around. I don't know if you, you can see them in right. there, little, yeah. little blobs of hot, to keep it from moving around. Right. Uh, you can still get it out because hot glue, you can just pull out of there very easily. It uh, mm -hmm. stays, yeah. stays flexible. So that, that's, the, <laughs> uh, that's the camera. Back, back here, I mounted the VTX uh, underneath the, uh, the rear hatch and the GPS and compass. So that's the GPS and compass module right there. Mm -hmm. And then that's the uh, VTX and this is a, a, a tank ultimate. This thing goes up to 800 milliwatts. So it ought to, right now it's just sitting on 25 milliwatts, but it ought to really really give a, a, a really good signal. So I'm hoping that uh, mm -hmm. that ought to work. And then down in here is the uh, Maytech F405 wing flight controller. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, that, uh, mm -hmm. that's got the two servos that are on the wings plugged into it. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this, this hatch back on. And right now I got it in manual mode even in inside here, I've already picked, well, I had this thing upside down, but I picked up five satellites in here. Wow. Uh, see the five flash in there? Let me turn this light off on the. Mitch, do you need I a put, certain amount of satellites before you can go up? Well, I, I, I don't know. I'm going to try to arm it right now. But uh, okay. yeah, it normally, it normally needs to have a satellite, but the way you arm this this thing is you you, you just take the uh, and I have no prop on it so I'm not worried about arming it but you take the low throttle to the right and then it says <coughs> throttle armed see it on there so if, now if I raise the throttle you'll hear the motor can you hear it through the mic yep yep and then you look down here, I've got a throttle percentage down in the oh, lower yeah. corner of the, uh, the uh, on-screen display. So that, uh, that is ready to fly. Now, it, it's, it's got, I've got it set up with three modes right now. Uh, I've got uh, manual mode, which is this, where when I move the sticks, the control surface is following. Since it's a flying wing, when I pull up, they both go up. When I do aileron, they both go the other way, and when I push down, it, they go down. 
But I also have a stabilized mode called fly-by-wire A. So if I put my mode switch into fly-by-wire A, mm -hmm. I'm trying to see what, if it, yeah, it says that on the, on the, on the monitor there. It's an FW, mm -hmm. FWB, <coughs> FBWA, fly-by-wire A. Now the thing is fully stabilized. So mm -hmm. it will fight to get level. So in other words, if, 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 I, if I tilt the, the thing up, the, the, the control surfaces will go down. If I tilt it, can you see they're going up? Yeah, down. yep. See how they're following? Yep. If I roll it this way, that'll go down to push the wing back. If I right. roll it this way, that goes up. So it's fully stabilized. Uh, like a quad so you can just you know set this thing to fly by wire a give it a heave a hand launch mm -hmm. and you and, and and if you happen to throw it cockeyed it'll straighten itself up in a big hurry so that's pretty oh, handy cool. and then the and then is the that third like flight, the takeoff uh, mode you well they actually the they actually have an automated takeoff mode which sets ah. a certain climb angle goes for five seconds mm -hmm. like the one in INF. um i haven't programmed that in there yet i want to fly it in manual mode first just to make sure it flies uh, All right. And then it's and then the final switch down here is retur is return it says RTL return to launch return to home and and no matter whatever it's doing it'll just return to the home point and just fly fly around in a big circle uh, overhead till you decide what you do it'll mm -hmm. climb to a preset altitude and then uh, it'll just loiter it'll just loiter around overhead so that uh, it came out pretty good it's uh, it's all foam but it's pretty pretty tough stuff. So we'll see. Mitch, we'll something see like happens. that. Will, will you lose picture before reception, before the uh, transmitter? You know what I'm saying? Uh, can you fly further than uh, the well, camera? Well, the receiver, I, I've got a, I've got a, a, a an R9 uh, long range, 900 megahertz receiver in gotcha. it. So the, the receiver range on this is going to be uh, greater than five miles. I'll lose oh, wow. my picture long before I would ever lose control. But it, gotcha. it, it, it really doesn't matter because it's it's set up so that, yeah, let me turn all this stuff off. If you, uh, if you lose, if you lose your radio um, and you lose your transmitter signal, it will fail safe kind of just like a DJI drone does and it's right. it's programmed to uh, return to home on failsafe oh, now it's it's not it's not a drone so it's not going to uh, it's not going to just come in and land but it is going to go to whatever altitude you have set and then it will it will fly around uh, overhead and uh, that's pretty cool mm. Bob Casey Oh, oh, he put, he put my new, <laughs> he put, uh, thank you, Bob, I appreciate it. Bob's playing, <laughs> playing, he's pr promoting me. Thanks a lot, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so it, uh, uh, it will fly around if it loses signal, but uh, mm -hmm. I'm more likely to, if I go too far away without a antenna tracker on the video signal, I'm more likely to lose my video feed from the goggles. And in that respect, I just basically have to click the return to home switch on the transmitter and it'll turn around and start flying back. And as it gets closer, of course, the video should kick back in. But even right. if it doesn't, if, if the video transmitter breaks completely and I end up with no video, right. it will come back and circle overhead, at which case I can throw it into manual mode and just fly the thing like you do any other RC plane and, and land it. Yeah. So uh, hopefully it ought to be it ought to be pretty safe and um, and you'll be using the DJI goggles with that. Yeah, yeah, the DJI uh, goggles with the oh, cool. with that with the analog mod that I did nice. stuck on nice. in front of them. Yeah, yeah, I like nice. them. They work uh, they work great. So that's uh, that's uh, that project and uh, the Arju pilot uh, side of it was. Uh, similar in some respects to INAV and uh, Betaflight and, and different uh, in, uh, in, a, in a lot of respects. But Archipilot's been around 
And the mission planner from RG Pilot's been around for, for a lot of years. Uh, this, uh, this thing, the, uh, mm -hmm. the mission planner, and it uh, combines everything that, uh, that you find in INAV with a, with a, much, with, with a, uh, a mission planner like Leachy and some of the more advanced uh, mapping mission planners that, that you get for, uh, for the mapping planes and drones. And that's primarily what this, uh, this has been used for. And that's why uh, a lot of guys are flying the big heavy lift drones. Uh, I imagine most of the guys flying the big heavy lift drones are using, are using this software because it's been around a long time. Only, I think recently, in the last year or two, have they actually um, created targets for inexpensive drone style or flying wing style flight controllers like this Maytech mm -hmm. F405. That's a $49 flight controller. And it's got barometer built in, which a lot of flight controllers don't. It's designed for flying wings. But uh, the RG pilot, they have, they have, um, uh, targets for mm -hmm. a, a lot of a lot of um, different flight controllers. They have a list. They have a they have a very very uh, good wiki. And let me uh, let me let me mm -hmm. show you how you might how you'd find that uh, instructions for everything. Uh, a lot better instructions than um, than you'd find with. Uh, with INAV or beta flight. Right. So you just type A R D U P I L O T in Google. The first one you come up to is ardupilot.org. Okay. And this is this is their their main website. Uh, ardupilot is designed to work with the uh, the big heavy lift drones, fixed wing airplanes, submarines, helicopters. <laughs> Any wow. kind of tail configuration, combination planes, heavy lift their camera drones, uh, boats, rovers, anything that that moves, you can you can uh, get a a, a, a a version of of this RG pilot, and uh, they have a, a section here called use cases. Uh, you can you know you can actually design it to drive a full-size tractor to, to wow. you know and, and, and control the actual tractor you can do it in in real airplanes and model airplanes underwater stuff but it, up here at the top it says docks and this is where this this website of theirs really shines because over on the left you see home copter plane rover sub It'll drive an antenna tracker. So if you have a, an antenna tracker out there, it, it, it'll the antenna will actually just follow your follow your vehicle. It, wow. It'll get it, it. It'll get its information through uh, telemetry mm -hmm. coming back from uh, the vehicle, whatever it is. And <clears throat> since it knows where the vehicle is and it knows where it is, it knows exactly and it knows the altitude. It knows exactly where to point. And that's how these guys are getting these. 10 to 20 mile long range flights with this thing. Wow. <laughs> with this RG, yeah, with these long range things. Uh, what DJI did was use all of this stuff, I think, or the concept of it, and built it all into one package. In other words, they, yeah. they have the telemetry built in that sends a telemetry from the thing back to, so you can see it on your display. Uh -huh. if, you're, if you're running Arju Pilot and you wanna have a display in your hands that you can see all the telemetry and control stuff in the vehicle by a touch screen, you can do that. And you need to buy a, a, a little telemetry receiver and transmitter and it costs about 50 bucks for a basic one. And uh, you can uh, you can actually put them in, and then you can take any tablet and run a, a software called Q Ground Control on it, and uh, you'll have uh, 
that exact, you'll have all of the functionality of RGPilot, programming it, make changing settings, doing everything from the, just like you can on DJI when you're running their app on, on your cell phone, you right. can touch screen, go into menus, change set. You can do all that by adding a telemetry radio. I don't need that functionality in the flying wing. Mm -hmm. But if you're flying a, a commercial thing and you're doing mapping uh, routines and things, you want to be able to change the course uh, uh, or the waypoints without having to bring the thing down and land it. And you can do all that or restart the mission or, or do anything. Anything that you can program on the ground, you can program via this telemetry. Plus, it, it sends you the real-time real -time data so you know how high you are, where you're going, speed, the whole, whole nine yards. Let me take a sip here. So what's going on in the chat here? No. Nothing much. Not much. I have a question. Is this what they use for, uh, for tractors on farms so they don't actually have to have people on the tractors, they could just. Yeah, I, I would imagine it may not be Ardu pilot, but it's going to be something very, very similar. Very similar. Yeah, yeah, and uh, <clears throat> I imagine some people probably are using Ardu pilot because it doesn't matter how big the vehicle is. All you need is uh, you need the mechanics to steer and make it go right. uh, scaled up, but it still take <laughs> would take the same same signal. So uh, mm -hmm. I imagine that that would uh, that would work. Now this uh, uh, is home copter. So if you go into plane here, the nice thing about this, uh, it says UAV aircraft with full autonomous capability and mm -hmm. they give you uh, tremendous information about the different steps. And, and it's, there's a complete manual here. So if anybody's interested in this stuff, they, they, they complete instructions for the, the uh, mission planner, Q ground control, which is the app that you actually would use on a tablet. Uh, there's all kinds of different ground stations that, that work with it. Uh, and they go through all of that. Mav pilot for all of this, all this stuff will, will work. Uh, yeah. But Q yeah. ground control seems to be the most popular one. Uh, then they talk about the hardware. And they talk about whether you're going to use the, the Pixhawks or you want to use one of the, the, the smaller uh, RC style. Even the Parrot Bebop uses RG Pilot. I, I, I see. I've never flown one, but it says Parrot Bebop here. So I yep. guess they're using it. Um, they talk about all the different vehicle types. But one, it, there is one place here. And then you can, then you can go over here uh, into the... Uh, um, RG Pilot hardware, and it will tell you what types of controllers that they have um, targets for. Mm -hmm. They they call open hardware, uh, and yeah. I'm not really clear on on what, but that's the uh, cube orange that I have here. The uh, now they call that open hardware. Closed yeah. hardware is all the hobby stuff that's less expensive. But in here, these are all flight controllers that most FPV people are are, are familiar with. The Holy Bro, nice. uh, Matex, Omnibus. Um, these are the Speedy B, VR Break. These are a pretty good selection of uh, flight controllers that can you can buy for 20, 30, 40 bucks that'll actually run the Ardu Pilot. And uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll let you know how... Uh, how well it works on the fixed wing airplane in uh, with a uh, with a cheap flight controller, but uh, for that big helicopter, um, I'm going to use the uh, the more commercial type stuff, and I actually uh, cost me two fifty about four hundred dollars. Uh -huh. for the uh, electronics that that I needed uh, to put in a, 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 a with with all the redundant sensors and IMUs and compasses and uh, mm -hmm. dual power and very you know commercially reliable type hardware that I want to put in this big helicopter not for any particular 
use with this helicopter because RC big RC helicopters are not practical. Um, yeah. Drones are practical. You know, you want to use you want to use drones, not RC yeah. helicopters. So, but I I just the hobby part of it for me is I'd love to see this big helicopter fly. Yeah. Autonomously, it'd be it, it's a lot safer that way because uh, you know as we talked about the uh, a drone when it crashes you might break a, some propellers or if you really hit a brick wall really hard you might break an arm. But a helicopter, if that yeah. rotor touches anything, mm. the whole thing just explodes. I mean, it just yeah. twists itself up into a big... And then to, to repair it usually costs as much as the thing did in the first place, which is why you don't see a lot of RC helicopters anymore. There are still some guys that fly them, but uh, you just don't see, you don't see a lot of guys flying them anymore. Mm -hmm. So uh, the... Um, The cube stuff over here. Mm -hmm. I wonder if my camera's still on. Yes, there. it is. Yeah, I. That's wild. My my. Uh, let me. Uh, this is terrific. The microphone's working. The headphones are working. I still yeah. have the. Uh, I still have. No, I don't have it. I moved it, but it's still locked into that old picture where it was. <laughs> so. So what? What? Did, what? Why did that quit? Um, I was hoping that, that all this stuff would just hang in there, through the whole, through the whole thing. But uh, something happens to it, and it it, it decides that uh, it wants to quit working. So I'll have to explore that further. But mm -hmm. this, um, there we go. I guess I'll just turn it off. There we go. I'm not going to bother with it anymore tonight. It served its purpose. I got to show you the uh, the fixed wing thing, but this is the uh, this is the uh, cube, the cube stuff. Mm -hmm. And hello, <sighs> fancy packaging. Mm -hmm. This this is the. Uh, is the autopilot I, I showed you guys this last week it actually comes with some instructions yeah yep. comes with a power brick comes with a whole bag of wires a little can bus and uh, then this here is the uh, is the gps module it's almost as big as the controller <laughs> that's the autopilot and this uses this new uh, it's a bus called CAN. And from what I understand, it's the same bus system that's, that cars use for all their mm -hmm. electronics and automotive stuff. Right. And this, this would plug right into this, uh, this little plug that says CAN1, okay? And then... Uh, this is the telemetry, little telemetry transmitter and receiver. Mitch, all this goes in the helicopter somewhere? Yeah, yeah, all this, all this goes in the helicopter, and then there's a couple of antennas for the, uh, now, I haven't I haven't fooled with any of this stuff yet. I did plug the flight controller in and fix that problem where I couldn't get I couldn't get uh, the uh, um, mission planner to recognize it. But these these they don't weigh anything. They're very tiny little uh, little transistors, and the little the little receiver's got a USB port on it, and you would just plug it right in. To a computer, or a cell phone, mm -hmm. or something like that. So, so uh, you could probably take some double sticky tape and just tack it on the back of a tablet, and then you'd have all the telemetry and be able to control everything in the aircraft from from the little little transmitter. So what I want to do is I want to take this thing, and I have no idea how to do this, but we're going to see how well the instructions, how good the instructions are. 
Uh, I'm going to take this over to to the bench here, right? And uh, mm -hmm. go back to me, and I'm going to take a serial cable, and I'm going to plug it in to the USB port on the side. Oh, lights got lights. And then it says the lights should go out. So it got power. Now, there's two ways that you hook a compass to this. And the, the, this CAN bus is evidently the new one. The old way was with a UART and an I2C bus for the compass. So it may or may not work right away. But I am hooked to the computer. So I'm going to open the mission planner again. And I'm... I'm doing this kind of blind, and I may have to may refer to the instructions. But uh, let's uh, let's go over to here and check to see what I got. I got cube orange Mavlink on COM14. All right, let's connect. All right. So it's getting all the parameters now. So it actually, it did, it did connect. Um, and if I move the autopilot, the, uh, the horizon moves in the, yeah. uh, in the window, but I don't see the uh, autopilot doing anything. So the GPS rather, it's not lit up and it doesn't seem to be working. So what I'm gonna do, uh, Initial setup, mandatory hardware. I already um, did the calibration on this thing. I did the compass calibration. I, I, I don't, I didn't do, no, I didn't do the compass calibration yet. I did, because all this is for the airplane, but I'm looking for the GPS here. And I don't know if it has a thing. All right, so I wish I knew more about this. Uh, I was hoping that, seeing as this is the newest GPS that they sell and the newest uh, cube that the firmware would, would be set up for it using the, the bus. So let's try this. Let's go into uh, my full parameter list. And this is, to show you the extent of the commands, this is all the different parameters you can program <laughs> in ArcuPilot. It's incredible, but you can, you can type GPS, for example, and it'll get you just the ones for the GPS. So let's see what it says here. Uh, gain GPS use one. Uh, GPS type is set, pretty involved. Auto, is set to auto. Uh, I want UAV can, so that has to be nine. Okay. GPS type UAV can. I, I remember reading that. So let's write the parameters. and reboot the thing. Mm -hmm. Unplug it, Ooh, wow. plug it back in. I don't know what I'm doing here. Anyway, I got blue lights again, flashing on the, uh, on the GPS module. Mm -hmm. Let me connect. This is where I'm gonna actually probably have to start reading the directions. Hmm. Okay, so let's go into Google here. Okay. And uh, type Arju Pilot. I should probably have done all this before a live stream, but I wanted maybe to show you guys what it's like wading into waters that you haven't, where you haven't been swimming yet. Mm -hmm. Arju Pilot oh. GPS. Can. Okay, U Block GPS. 
CAN bus set up RG pilot. Okay. CAN bus. So she has set up CAN bus and what options she's have accomplished. So we're a controller area network. That's what CAN means. Controller area network. Cool. Is a robust vehicle bus standard designed to allow microcontrollers and devices. Okay. Most RG pilots, uh, autopilots run RG pilot either have one or two CAN interfaces for connection. Oh, you know what I might be doing wrong? I think I might need this, uh, I might need this, uh, this thing, this little, see it, this little, little bus. It may have to connect through that. So um, I don't think, maybe it doesn't plug in. Maybe you have to plug the, uh, the little bus in there. So I'm gonna disconnect again. This, this, disconnect, unboot it, and I'm going to plug the compass into this little, this little board here. Eleven through sixteen. So I'll plug this at the. I'll plug this into the little bus, and then I need to open my bag of wires. Unless the uh, unless the GPS comes with uh, comes with the wires I need. Let's see what we got here. We have. Uh, that's not it. That's not the CAN bus, that's for uh, the other connection. So no, it doesn't. All right, so I need to open this up. You know, the old saying, you know how you tell who the pioneers are? Mm. Guys know? No. They're the ones with the flaming arrows in their wagons. Uh. <laughs> and I feel like that sometimes. Every time I take on a, uh, a little project, like, oh, they give you a nice looking flat USB cable in here. Oh, they even give you a beeper. They give you the buzzer. I didn't even know that. Look at that. I had to plug that in so it makes noise. Mm. All right, so we've got a buzzer, little little buzzer. And oh, the buzzer's got a USB on it. Uh, something else I'll have to figure out what that does. But uh, maybe that's a USB extension. So in your vehicle, you can put this somewhere where you can get to it if you can't get to the one on the, uh, on the programmer. I still have a lot of reading to do, and I haven't really fooled with this too much. So what I'm looking at is, here's the, this is, This cable says GPS one cable. Oh, this has got the uh, little arming button on it. That's for the normal, the standard hookup. Here's the I2C cable. What I need is a CAN bus. There's the telemetry cable. There's a power cable. It's nice they have them labeled GPS two. So where is the cable for the CAN bus. This says I2C telemetry power power to GPS telemetry. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't see a cable for for that go figure huh so I'm wondering if uh, you use the I2C cable maybe that's It's got four wires. <laughs> How many are in the CAN bus? Four wires. Well, I'll try it. Worst that could happen is nothing. 
And it may be that I don't get this working tonight. But let's try that and see if that makes it work. And plug it in again. Uh, the, the GPS is getting power because the blue lights do blink on it. Huh. Cool. Yeah, this may not be a, a great project to do here because it might require a half an hour's worth of research. Uh, but it still says, it says no GPS there and I don't see any lights on the GPS. So I'm sure that there are a few settings that I have to set. So let me, let me take one quick look at the documentation here and see if, uh, see if I can First time set up firmware. Already got the software loading firmware, connect mission planner. Uh, I've already been to that Canvas page. There's yep. just so much information here. Yep. Each physical will be turned off and corresponding with the parameter can PX drive over X is the number of the port. Uh, so can underscore P. Let's see where that gets me. Uh, can underscore P. Can P driver disabled. Okay, that's, that's why it's not working. Enabling yeah. the option enables the use of the CAN buses. So we need to go into this one and say CAN P1 driver, we'll say one. Hmm. Okay, and we will write the parameters, say okay. And then we also uh, went and, uh, what was the other one I changed? It was set to auto. So let me go back and change that. That was the GPS, I think, one of the GPS, uh, GPS type. Or I set that to nine, remember that? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember what it, what, what it was. GPS2 type, uh, no, that's EK2 GPS, GPS, GNS mode, that's GLONASS, uh, GPS type here, it says nine. I'm gonna change that back to auto, see if this thing is smart enough to uh, write parameters. All right, so I enabled the, the CAN bus and that may hopefully will be the only thing I need to do. So we'll disconnect. And if that's the case, I'm gonna plug it directly into the, uh, into the controller without that, little, without that little bus since I couldn't find an appropriate cable. I should be able to just plug it right in there. So we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna plug it in again. Are we boring the hell out of everybody? Yeah, we lost a lot of people for this. <laughs> Okay. Whoa, it blinked a little longer that time. The blue light, let's load parameters and see if, if, I, uh, if I have a GPS here. Oh, it still says no GPS and there's nothing, nothing lighting up on the GPS. Okay, so that, uh, <clears throat> Oops, let me find the, uh, there we go. The physical work, okay, the value parameter, the ID, for example, the most common setup, will have one driver and all interfaces will be connected to it. The CAN P1 driver, you can't be parameters. 
should be set to 1. All right. This is not something I'm going to be able to figure out in a half an hour here, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah. But uh, I don't think anybody's really all that interested. So when I figure it out, I'll, I'll come back and I'll tell you how, how, what I had to do to, yeah, to, make it, to, to, make it, to make it work. And uh, the information is there and it's probably pretty, it's going it, to, it, like, like when I had a problem uh, and I couldn't get the orange cube, uh, you know, it puzzled me when I was live on here, but it took me uh, five minutes uh, of reading to find to realize there was a special driver that you needed. Um, so let's disconnect the cube. We'll unplug it and put it away. <laughs> Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> put it away. Put it away, and I'll fool with it because it's yeah. like it's, I got nothing but uh, nothing but time to yeah. uh, to fool with this stuff. <laughs> so who else we got left here? Uh oh, what happened to my? Uh... Oh, oh, Carlos had to leave for a sec. Hey, okay. uh, Mitch, did you get a uh, uh, refund check from your car insurance? I got. Uh, I got a an email. I have USAA insurance, uh, uh -huh. and I got an I got an email that said that they were going to give us two months, no charge. Oh, wonderful! That that we would see as a, a credit on uh, our on our statement. Oh, okay. Um, well, I got <clears throat> I got a check for forty something. Forty dollars and some change. Really? And uh, I may get another one next month. Who, who knows? I haven't gotten shit yet. I haven't <laughs> gotten any money. I haven't gotten any money from the. Come here. Come here. Focus. I haven't go. gotten it. I haven't gotten any money from the government yet. When I go on that stupid website, it says find my money. Uh, they can't, they can't find, they can't find my money. <laughs> uh, then in the footnotes of the, the frequently asked questions, it says, if you're on social security, uh, your information won't be in here. Now I'm still uh -oh. a taxpayer. I'm still a taxpayer, but evidently because I'm on social security, yeah, they're doing, they're, they're dealing with the social security recipients a little uh, differently. And uh, they keep saying that I'll have that by the end of April. Meantime, only you got your money, Art. The rest of us. <laughs> Carlos, did you get your check? The stimulus checks, yes. You got them? Oh, okay. Yeah. Mitch, who's my insurance company, Drone Dude says. I, uh, USAA, uh, because I was in the military, uh, I it's get... supposedly uh, good. Yeah, my insurance yeah. is ridiculous here in New York. Yeah, no, it's pretty. It's pretty good. It's it, it's it's reasonable, you know. Uh, I pay fifteen hundred dollars for six months for one car. Well, that's ridiculous. Boy, yeah, that's a that's a little much. I pay I pay uh, under five hundred bucks every six months. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm about everything's better and bigger in New York, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And RC Funds Diversion says he's still getting jello, battling jello on the Tyro 129. Now, is that on the on the the uh, the jello on the video camera, uh, the FPV camera, or on a GoPro or something that you're sticking on it? Oh, you know, yeah. you you, you, you almost sure. can't you can't you can't figure it out. Did you put the did you put the capacitor on it? Although that's and generally not jello, one. that's Static noise. Back. Yeah. That's that's Static. just gonna be noise. Oh yeah. Polaroid cube. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Uh and it uh, so the, the jello's in the in the Polaroid cube. Yeah. It very it very well may be that um 
because I used to have this problem when I used to try to put cameras on on my electric powered model airplanes. The motors just interfered something fierce and made the uh, pictures do all this kind of stuff. And it may very well be that it's that that Polaroid cube and it's just not going to work on a quad unless you've mm -hmm. flown it on on other quads and you didn't and you didn't get the jello. But uh, it, that may that may be uh, what the problem is. Or uh, they say uh, a lot of times an ND filter, stick an ND filter on the front of it, and that seems to help the Jello uh, on these uh, on these HD cameras. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll tell you which one I use is uh, I I've got the, it's a hundred dollar camera. It's that um, Runcam five, right? And they've got and they've got the new Runcam five orange, uh, and it. Uh, it's supposed to be even better, and I think it's I, I think it's only a hundred bucks. Um, right. Let me see if I can if I can find some. Uh, I, I wish I had all this all this footage uh, really at my fingertips, but uh, I have a lot of DJI footage that I can find. But I'm trying to see if I can find right. something that I shot with that. Uh, with that run cam because since I got the DJI system that has the built-in HD, normally when I'm flying analog quads, I'm not flying it to create any kind of video. I'm just flying yeah. it to have fun. So I don't put the, I don't bother putting the camera on it, but I did use it a couple of times and I'm trying to remember mm -hmm. when it was. Acrobat, and, didn't you put a little camera on that? Uh, no. I, I had put that little Hawkeye uh, firefly, firefly on there, but yeah. that that was terrible. I think that thing was it's, yeah, turbo, 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 T U R B E L, turbo. Yeah. Uh, Charles Barkley way of thing. Turbo, turbo, yeah. True. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can. Uh, I think. was on that I, I, I did use it on my uh, on my Hawk 5 mm -hmm. and I'm trying to see where there it is let's see if let's see if this is where it is is this it All right, what are you going to do with this uh, drone that Mitch fixed for you? What are your plans? He's not going to do anything. He's not going to do anything with it till I tell him he can. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm waiting for the the uh, transmitter to show up. Oh, you ordered one? Yeah. What'd you get? I got the FR Sky uh, Q. Uh, yeah, the Q7. Oh, noisy. Okay. <laughs> This is this is the run. This is from the Run Cam Five. Ooh, nice. This this was shot. Uh, oh, the sound is terrible. It's just overdriven and distorted. Let me crank it out of there. Uh, this was, I think, my one of my first ever flights with a five-inch quad, Carlos. Terrible. Oh, you can see terrible flying. I mean, it was. No. I was like, just, just keep it in the air, Mitch. I was, I, I was, you know, the only one out there at the at the club flying field. This had to oh, have been yeah. <laughs> probably a year ago, and and I bought this. The first five inch quad I ever had was this Hawk Five, and I I bought it. You know, the mm -hmm. Emacs, and uh, I I didn't know how to fly. I mean, this was like uh, a hail mary. Not bad. Well, yeah, but I never, I never really leveled the horizon out. I always ended yeah, I up noticed. Le tilted sideways, <laughs> because, you know. But I mean, this was my first. I think one of my first flights with a five-inch quad. But, but I, I'm not t showing you this to show off my camera tremendous so. flying skills. It's basically, I actually didn't wreck it, so <laughs> yeah. that was the good news. And that Hawk Five is a pretty hot little quad it's a it, mm -hmm. it's a racing quad yeah very light but uh i did a roll look at that mm -hmm. 
But this was way back in, in, in Unbelievable uh, the amount of room there. For space. Yeah, it, it, it is. And and we haven't been able to get out there for months because they closed. Oh, they won't let the you COVID, at the park? The COVID thing. They closed you can't the go whole, to that park? No, it's not Jeez. a park. It's a county dump. It's, it's oh. on dump property. You got to go through the gate. They've just let, sent everybody home and... No way. Uh, yeah, so the club field's been closed. Now, I, I can go to the park that I've been flying at. Yeah. But, uh, but this is the uh, this is the Run Cam 5 for $100. It's, it's not a bad camera. And I'm yeah. trying to think, it, I'm trying to remember if it's 4K or just 1080p. Um, I think it does 4K. It's this on. one, right, Mitch? No, that's the whole Firefly. No, that's this the, is a... This is a is that, big, is that oh okay that's as big as a uh, gopro session oh yeah that's what it is it's a gopro session i'm sorry it's a session five not a run that's cam. What, oh okay well that's a more expensive camera the gopro uh run cam right. five. I, no, you're saying run cam yeah run yes. cam five orange here's the run cam five okay that it's, might be only 1080 uh, it is uh, that, that was not that was not the site to go to. Let's see here. No, it says for uh, uh, the orange is 4K. Okay. RC Fun wants to know: Does it have uh, anti-vibration? No, it doesn't have stabilization, but. This was pretty, I mean, it looked pretty smooth, didn't it, on this picture? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, you know, I, I hardly ever, I hardly ever use it. The Runcam 5 HD. So I, I haven't used it in so long, I forgot what the specs were. But this is, uh, here, here comes my landing, man. I'm going to land it. Boom, flip. <laughs> That's cool, huh? Yeah. More this than is uh, this is the uh, this is the. Uh, it looks like a session. All right, run cam is dropping in. You get the run cam five after testing it. For session black. For one hundred dollars, run cam five follows the same form factor and is capable of recording four K thirty and 2.7 K 50. Okay, and that's what it looks like there sitting next to the uh, session, like you have, Carlos. Right. But for- Same size, uh, I think it fits in the same holder. The yeah, it does. That's why, that's what's nice about it is any of the holders for the, for the, uh, for the GoPro session will, will, will take this. And in fact, this, uh, um, This is this holder here on the Tyro 129 is exactly the size of a Runcam 5, so it. Uh, and I I did I did shoot some videos with the Runcam in in the Tyro, and I think I shot them at. I don't pay attention since I'm not trying to make movies and I'm not really considered uh, worried about editing. I don't pay attention about how the camera's set, but the camera is set up. <laughs> It's kind of interesting the way you the way you change the settings in the camera. You have a cell phone app. You can do it with a cell phone. Yeah. Hey, That's Jim cool. Boyd is here. Hey, buddy. Hey. How are you? There's... Whoa, loud. Wow, that was loud. I'm loud. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah, you're blowing, blowing the doors off. Why is that? I, I wouldn't know. pass gas. We can hear it. It's yeah. the. It's the now you're way down. Now you're lower. You got a volume control on it? I'm not touching it. There, there you, go. you go. You're trying better. Good. That's I working now. I didn't no. touch anything. No, now it's fine. It just took a little while to uh, to make up its mind and decide uh, <laughs> what you wanted to do. Anyway, I was saying that uh, there's an app on here, and it's... Uh, Run cam, R U N. 
Runcam app, and it says configuration. So, so you hit QR code, and then it has all the settings on it. Okay, so you say what uh, video quality high resolution. Okay, I'm I'm filming 1440 at 60 frames a second. That's right. That's what I had it set for, because that gives you a nice four by three mm -hmm. image. In, in which you can do whatever you want with in editing. So once you, you, you change all the settings that you want in, in your app, and then you say apply, and it gives you a barcode, see? Oh, yeah. And you point the camera at the barcode, double tap the button on top, and it, and it reads the barcode, goes beep, and it changes all the camera settings. Yeah. So you don't have any menus or screens or any of that crap on the... Now, some people thought that was a stupid way of doing it, and then after they did it a while, they realized that it's, it's actually a pretty neat way of doing it. Uh, because you can... What they're doing is they have, they have different um, s settings for standard different things, so they print the barcode out on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. They, the one for like 4K 30, whatever their basic standard color setting. So if they want to, if they want to have a different uh, uh, LUT or something like that, and then they just have a make a couple of cards out of them. So when you want to change camera settings, you just pick the card with the settings you want, point the camera at it, and double tap the button, and it changes all the settings well, on the yeah. camera. All you have a question, Mitch. Yeah. Lutzat says, Mitch, do you think the DJI Air unit gives you? Good resolution like the GoPro as far as footage. Well, it gives you 1080 60. Um, it doesn't give you 4K. It gives you 1080 okay. 60. Uh, so what's the, the megapixels recording. on something like that? Like I'm five? Sure. You know, what are we up to nowadays? Yeah. Uh, 8K, 8, 8, uh, 4K is 8 megapixels, Jim. Okay. 4K is 8 megapixels. So, uh, so then why does my camera have 21 megapixels? For stills. For stills. Okay, and the video is 4 megapixels. Uh, 8 megapixels is one frame of a 4K. Video. Right, I know that. That's how you get pixel binning. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, 8K, uh, uh, 4K. Only Jim, did you see the question for you, Jim? You have a question, Jim. So what do you th really think of the Xeno? For That's for th Jim. for three ninety nine, I got to play uh, with the Xeno with Dan. For three ninety nine, I it's a keeper. Did you see when when did you see Dan's video from uh, from Tampa with with uh, Ken Dono? Yeah, where the thing just crashed into something or other. <laughs> That they those things are doing way. 80 miles an hour. I mean, that thing can move. Yeah. I can't follow it that fast. I mean, you know, it hits 80 miles an hour, it's gone. I'm looking around, I'm like, where the hell did you go? How do, how could it go 80 miles an hour? <laughs> that, that, that uh, what's he called? E-Flight, E-B, whatever the heck he calls it. Oh, you're talking about the, uh, FPV, the FPV drone. drone. Yeah. That yeah. Thing's no, but, he, but he crashed the Xeno. The, the, the Zeno, he did. Yeah, yeah. Dan had a video. Uh, I saw it today, earlier this morning, and Dono was oh. flying the thing, and it was, and it went wild, and uh, they were laughing their ass off. They, they were, <laughs> I, I tell you strange. what, when we were flying it, when you shoot it out straight out, it was going off to the left, and when you come back straight on the stick, it was coming back on the right. And it has a little jitter to it before it does that. That's know? what and, he was complaining about. He was yeah. saying, what the hell? What is going on with this thing? I'm trying to fly it straight, and it's got a... He said he calibrated everything. Yeah. But, uh, you know, for three ninety nine. good Lord, what... I'm not complaining. I wouldn't complain. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You're not going to buy it for... for uh, you're not going to buy it for commercial stuff anyway, you know? I mean, other than that, you know, I asked him how, because I didn't see, you know, but I asked him how the, the pictures come out, the video comes out, and he says it's good. So, what the heck, you know? Yeah. This day and age. Well, they got a big fo a big following. Um, that's kind of not, a, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just 
I have no interest in any of that stuff now that I've gotten into this aspect of the hobby. Uh, I've got the Mavics. If I have to, if I absolutely have to go up and take <coughs> any anything for a, 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 any reason, the Mavic Two Pro, you know, yeah, yeah, is more than adequate for for virtually anything. Uh, and, and speaking of that, Mitch, I really screwed up when Dan and I were flying. I had had it on um, H two sixty five HEVC. Yeah. 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 And so what DJI does is they show you the screen in full living color. But you're not. You know what I mean? You know, 10-bit footage, it's washed out. Yeah. It's DNG, like a DNG photo. Yeah. Well, they, they, uh, they're they they using a uh, uh, some kind of a LUT or, you know, where it, it, it uh, undersaturates everything. But you still have more information. So when you go into you post, you bit. can... You, you you have a lot of capability, but just well, it's murder on my computer. You see that that white screen? Yes. That's supposed to be rendering, but it locked it up. Oh. <laughs> That's the, to, to, the I'm one step away from the screen of death. The two sixty five is is such a power hog of a codec yeah. when you try to edit it or render it or do anything. It's, I never use it. I tried it once and it brought my computer to its knees. It, and yeah, I got a pretty yeah. powerful computer here. And I said, what the hell good is this? It, it comp It's more compression. When you, when, you, when you compress it to 265, you're going to end up with a smaller file. But who cares? You know, we got 120, 64, 128 gig SD cards in the drone. Uh, I don't care if it's a big file, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had left it on that. See, I was uh, test filming one area, and then I left it on that like an idiot. It's all my fault. I didn't put it back to 264, and all this footage has to be rendered. And, uh, of course, if you touch anything with color, it's all CPU rendering, not GPU rendering. Yeah. So my thing is pegged like 100% for the whole time. And I'm like, oh, my God, this thing's going to die. So you're using PowerDirector. Yeah, yeah. Well, you could, you're gonna, you know, I don't know what you'd lose, but you could convert that. There's a lot of programs out there that you can convert to, from 65 to 64. It's going to, might strip away some of the information, but it, there's, a, there's an app called, a program called Handbrake. Handbrake, yeah. Yeah, and and I use that all, a lot of times. If uh, because even some devices and some cameras, not all dot two sixty four, is created equal. Some wow. some cameras when they when they uh, record these things do something to it that just makes the your brings your video editor to its knees. Other times you can take uh, raw footage. Maybe it's just a, a slower bit rate. Is is what causes the problem, if, you know? Because you can have dot two sixty four with with slower bit rates and faster bit rates. Yeah, but you know frames C A C B C D, how it goes with the group of GOP group of pictures, thirty pictures per frame. Yeah. So if you're going from ten bit in depth information down to eight bit, I'm looking at you on the screen is why I'm looking over there. That's no, okay. You know, I'm over here. I'm over I think, here. Yeah. I think it's taken longer to try and figure out what the hell it should be cutting out. Like you pretty much just said, it's if you shift it, if you shoot it at 265 and then you want to render it in 264, it's taking its time to figure out what it's going to take out of it. I'm guessing. Jim, Jim is that yeah. an Inspire case behind you? Yeah, those are all Inspires up there. No, I'm saying that case, though. Those are... The black three, case? Yeah, they're three different Inspire cases. Where the hell are they? Right here. You're inspired, huh? Oh, those are three? Oh, okay. So there's a bag that says DJI on it. I see it. Yeah, that's from CES. I got you. They were giving out little backpacks. Hey, awesome. Jerry Cavalry's here. Hi, Jerry. How you doing, Mike? Hey, nice, Jerry. Jerry. How you doing? Bob Casey says, hey, now Jerry. we're learning something. <laughs> yeah, I haven't learned much tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> Fooling with that autopilot. See, I was pre-rendering too, Mitch. I was... Um, proxy? Proxy. It, shadow proxy is automatically for me. 
and I had pre-rendered the 265 because there's GoPro video in there. There's um, Inspire uh, footage in there. And then the Mavic 2 Pro footage was all in H.265. So, so I pre-rendered that. Uh, so that converted it into that 264. It should have. Should have. I and can't. Still, and you're see, still having a problem with it? Yeah, yeah. I've got that white screen, which it asked me the question, do you just want to bail out or wait for it to recover? So I hit. Oh, wait God. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, you think it will what, recover? I don't know. There's an old saying, don't put your hand on your ass while you wait because it'll yeah. grow there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't want to lose the project. I just spent four hours on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Are you using a notebook for that? No, no, it's a, it's a laptop. It's a, an i7, uh, 6700 HQ, 32 gigabits of RAM. Oh, that should do it. Jesus. 1060 NVIDIA GPU. But yeah, that should, that should do it just fine. I don't know. I haven't had this before. That's weird. But the good news is my wireless mic is still working. That's the Rode. Is that the Mini? No, I, I, I've go? got the Comica, the Comica thing, oh. uh, Comica. Uh, I've got two different wireless setups. I'm sitting here totally, completely wireless, man. I got, I got wireless headphone, wireless. Is it a lapel? Yeah, got a little, little. Okay, there it is. Yeah, but uh, like a loose guy. But I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm unplugged. I can, I can spin around and not tangle up the cables. See this? Where's your battery pack? I, I've got two of them. I got one for the headphones <laughs> in this in this pocket. I've got this one here. This is receiving. This is receiving the uh, mic. The the audio. No, this is receiving from a transmitter hooked to my mixer. So, okay, to the headphones. So this is to the headphones, and then I got another one of these on my on my belt clip here. Why don't you just get these? Yeah, the, the what, stupid earbuds. Well, I could, but I didn't have them. I didn't have them. I, I don't, and I didn't want to buy anything. I thought I got all these wireless things. Let me, let me, let me try it out. But meanwhile, you got to have all this stuff on you. But the, the, yeah, I know, I know. Right. they're good. I, yeah, are they Bluetooth or what? They're Bluetooth. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to yeah, stress but, this thing out anymore than it already but then was. I gotta, but then I got to have a Bluetooth transmitter hooked somehow to my mixer to send you me the headphones. Can't you just do that right from the computer? It, I'm, not, I'm using a mixer. And that cuts out your Bluetooth from the computer? I'm using, a, I'm using a mixer that's providing me audio to my headphones, which does it without echo and all that. So other you stuff. can't you do the two at once? I could, but I'd have to revamp my entire system Ooh. because yep. of the way I got the mixer set up. Mm -hmm. I'm routing all the audio around through the computer. And uh, yeah, I don't even know if this, yeah. So no, I, I don't want to fool with that. This is a much easier solution. Uh, and I, I'd like to find what is that this called? is what I use, Mitch. I put this oh. on whatever audio, you know, whatever I want to hear, and then I just hook up to these. Yeah, I've got around. a, I've got a a, a Bluetooth um, thing that I could hook up to this. I have it outside, but right. uh, this was just something I, I thought of. I, I'm sitting here looking at all this wireless mic equipment, and I'm saying, you know, I I I had to, I tried to make this IV cam work. I said, but well, now I got it. I could can be Sennheiser. like a roving reporter. I'd be a roving reporter with, <laughs> with, with my wireless camera and my wireless mic and my wireless mm -hmm. headphones. I, I could take you guys to the bathroom, you know, I mean, with me and not waste any time. Mitch, you know the old camera rigs that sit on your shoulder and all that? Yeah, the big... Uh, I still have that, and I still have the wireless setup. Do you, you really? Know, the communicator box is this big and takes six double double A batteries in order to push out to the Sennheiser lapel mics. Well, we need to just go out and do do the news, man. You know, we, <laughs> we set ourselves up as a news crew. We'll, we'll print up some press passes. Sennheiser. And, that's what this brand is. Sennheiser's good. Sennheiser, yeah. That's what these headphones are, Sennheiser. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to try this remote camera thing again. I'm going to reboot the because I'm unhappy the fact that it... Uh, 
Okay, now work. how are you using that? Is that NDI? No, it's 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 uh, it, it runs it runs through an app uh, called IV Cam. IV Cam on the computer, and an app on the phone uh, called IV Cam. Actually, I could probably I can do it on my, I have it on both my on, on my regular cell phone and on this old cell phone here. But let's uh, let's see. So what I did, Jim. Uh, Oh, Alexa's just shut up, Alexa. I didn't talk to you. <laughs> you know, that's another thing. These Bluetooth things, uh, they have Google Assistant. And if you say the wrong words, it's going to start dialing China or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was searching a website. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we got what we got here is uh, here. Let me make this. Uh, All right. That's your OBS screen. That's my OBS. And I've got a thing called capture cam and what it what it had was uh the old picture frozen picture from the old phone so what i need to do is i need to go into here because it runs in the background and i need to get rid of it so where is the uh, oh you've got a digital is that a virtual mixer yeah no i have a uh, that's a that's a virtual mixer on a computer but then i have my zoom mixer that i use for my mic, my music, my sound effects, and my headphones. This routes every program to different virtual audio cables so I don't get the feedback and the echoing and all that other right. crap in the stream. Right. Uh, it's a real pain in the, pain in the butt, but where is this, uh, where is this IV cam uh, set up here? Pixel, XL, oh, okay, so I need to exit that. You got a lot of sources set up there. Yeah. Okay. So now I run this. I run this IV Cam software. Okay. See, it says waiting for connection. Right. So if I close that program, I have that as a in OBS. I have it as a video capture device. You've right. Okay. You set these sources up yourself, guys. Yeah. Well, basically, in you go into OBS and. I have a, uh, it's called IV cam, but it's a, um, it's a device called E2Esoft.cam. So you add a new, you basically, to get it into OBS, you just uh, add it into. Uh, add it as a source. As a source, as a, as a video capture device, just like right. you would any other video capture device. And then stick it in a window somewhere. Okay, so then you go on your cell phone and you run the app. Again, uh, with the cell phones. Well, yeah, you run the app. You can't IV do that cam. on my cell phone. No, watch. It, it, well, okay, so there we go. So now you see in the window on OBS. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's, taking, it's taking this. And if I uh, say... Uh, transition it'll it'll make this you know it'll, it'll actually bring that to the broadcast all right so uh i got the phone upside down okay so there you go so now i got this cell phone all right that's wireless not ndi it's just it might be using ndi technology but you don't have to deal with it you just right. connect it all right so now what i can do is i can actually Take How you guys. far can you go? Can you go as far as the darn cell tower? We'll, we'll let you? Well, uh, anywhere you have, yeah, you could take this thing out as long as you have a, well, no, no, this is a, works on local Wi-Fi, Jim. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so now I can actually, you know, take you guys for a walk around my house and, uh, you know, if I want to get a bottle Wait. of water here in the refrigerator, we can get a Make a, a cup of coffee, coffee for Jim. Yes. Yeah. Get to, wait a minute, hold on a second here. Yeah, I could uh, I get a little light in the kitchen here. Mitch, that refrigerator is about as useful as mine is. Oh, this is a terrific refrigerator. I love you, it. You stare inside it and say, yep, nothing to eat. Oh, I got no, no, I have no food in the fridge. No, Shop the I, I eat can. very, I got in the freezer, I got, you know, good, good food. I got no meat. But, do uh, you here, do, I, do you do the packs from uh, Omaha? What the hell's Omaha no, steaks? No, no, I go to Aldi's and buy 
Okay, okay. Here. Now, tell me this isn't riveting, riveting broadcasting here. You can't get this just anywhere, man. No, hold on. <laughs> it's still hot. It's still hot. Okay, so let me turn, turn the kitchen light off. Uh, and you remember uh, on one of my shows, I was telling you guys about those uh, World War II art. Remember them? Yeah. The World War II. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh the, yeah. Yama, the Yamamoto mission. Yep. With all the original, with all the real signatures of all the pilots that yep. flew in that mission in 1943, and my good friend was in that airplane right there, Doug Canning, and the caption here says, "Doug Canning breaks radio silence to call the sighting of Admiral Yamamoto's." Anyway, this is, I got two of these and. They were done on the 50th anniversary of this mission of World War II. And there's the, there's the one of uh, John Mitchell shooting down Yamamoto over, the, over there. So now I can show you guys this stuff because I can wander all over the place. Mm -hmm. That's pretty neat, huh, Jim? I it's almost like cell phone live stream, but doing, yeah. through, doing, doing, doing it through OBS, you know? I thought you had that with another camera, but no. I, I tried, but uh, I think he did it with his, with his tiny hawk also. That's how I make my chair disappear. The green, see it? Yeah, yeah. When I'm when I'm when I'm up, when I sit down here and I'm I'm on the green screen, you don't so, see the back. You don't see the back of the chair that I'm hitting. <laughs> right. <laughs> We're gonna have to talk computers because if I'm locking up, this this can't be. And this thing's two years old now, so. Mm. Republic of Games, my butt. <laughs> let me get out of this. Let me shut this camera thing off here. Dave, but that, uh, I'm going to yeah. uh, skedaddle here. I actually have to get ready to go to bed, so I go to work. You got to go to work, don't you? Yeah. It's about time, Arthur. Yeah. Get work up is at 3.30 a.m. and get ready for work. Hey, I what used to do, do that. What time I used, do you to, start? We I used start. to get up at three thirty, drive to Orlando, get in a waiting truck at five fifteen a.m. No calling in sick on that job. <laughs> uh, yeah, I start working at six a.m. I'm busy. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, and then have they called me. off? Have they called off the social uh, distancing? Where you uh, are? Art? I don't know what. What's have you seen about? Walmart? Huh? Walmart's jam packed. It's like nothing down here, man. Yeah, last. Well. Yeah, and and it, it it's nuts because people are going about their business like nothing's happening. Yeah, and nobody's is getting good. nobody else is getting sick. <coughs> uh, That's a good. Thing. I think I think half the people have had it already. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, look, I really. If I, really I was believe. in, if I was around eight million Chinese people in the first week of January, I'd have had the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? I think I did have it. I, I honestly think, and, and you know, they did that, uh, they started doing these uh, antibody tests in, uh, and they did them in Santa Ana, they did them in New York. In Santa Ana, California, they, they, they estimate 50 times as many people as they are, the numbers they're giving out, the confirmed cases actually have been exposed and have built up antibodies. Fifty. That, isn't times. that great? Isn't that great? Yeah. Well, that's what should happen. Yeah. And and in New York, in New York, they said over twenty times as many people are testing with the antibodies as the reported cases, which means that you You're know building up an immunity. Yeah, human beings are immune systems. Or they had it already. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a new virus, so. Nobody had it from last year, like you might have. No, had I'm it saying, or but something. because your immune system is strong, your body dealt with yeah. it. Yeah, and I right, think right. I honestly think that I'm. I want to get that immunity test. I think I had it because back in February, when this, when they started even started talking about this crap. Yeah. For about ten days, I was fighting something, but I didn't know what it was. Yeah. And I don't usually get sick. Uh, I get a flu shot, pneumonia shot. I get all those stupid shots every year. <laughs> and uh, I don't ever get sick, never. And for 10 days, I had uh, flirting. You know how you feel like you're flirting with something? A little headachey, a little sore throat, coming on, but never really. 
no fever. It didn't really develop into anything, but I felt like I was fighting something. And By then, any chance, for, did you lose sense of smell or taste? No, then, then that's why I don't know. But if, if it's true that an awful lot of people have been exposed to it, they mm -hmm. didn't know it. I, it's very well, I could, I could be one of them and, and, and so could half the other people around, which is good news. So when, what they need to do, I think, is start doing a, just a, a hell of a lot more of this antibody testing. Mm -hmm. It may find out that half the, half the nation is immune to it by this point and, and they could just open everything up again. Look, 50,000 people, average of 50, 30, 40, 50,000 people a year die from the flu. Yep. Have any yep. of you looked up to see how many people died from the flu this year? 60,000. I no, made the that. Flu. I don't, the I flu. I have no idea. I have very no idea. few. Very few. Ah. Much fewer than normal. I did oh, a comparison on the year to year. <laughs> I don't remember the numbers, but I'm just, when this nonsense fear mongering came about, yeah. uh, I looked up the uh, the normal flu year to year. It's yeah, an appalling 30, 000, number anyway. 50, yeah, a couple of years ago, we had 50,000, uh, 60,000. It's been as high as 80,000. Yeah. And they're the same people. They're the older, sick people. The fat ones, yeah. the diabetics, the, you know, the people that that have uh, one or two of the conditions they call morbidity, you know, yeah. uh, high blood pressure, diabetes. diabetes. Uh, yep. And these are the right. kind of people the flu normally kills or any respiratory infection turns into pneumonia. And, yep. and it, and, 600,000 people a year die from heart, heart disease. So, so, uh, you know, yeah, I, I, I'm not, I'm not saying art's leaving by art. See you, buddy. Good night, everybody. Jim. All right. Good night. Carlos, Have fun tomorrow. Uh, but I, Ken Heron's not on tonight, are you? Yeah, I know. I was going. <laughs> See you. Thanks for right, coming. Take care, everybody. Don't, don't get sick. Bye -bye. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye. So I, I just I just think, yeah, we probably we didn't know and we should have done what we did. But it's time. I think it's time to uh, to to get over it right now, I don't, this nonsense about living in Michigan and not being able to get in your car and drive to your vacation home. That's crazy. I think, yeah. I think it's, a, it's a little bit nuts. Oh, and, I, I and, and if we put up with it, <laughs> if we put up with this crap, if we That's as Americans, so long. Are, if they allow us, if, they, if we allow them right. to exercise this kind of power over us, they'll continue. Any, and they'll find any, any excuse that they want to find any time. Yep. And turn it into security. a reason, a reason to tell us what to do and stay home. And you know what? I'm not playing that game. I'm too old for this shit. You know, uh, if I go, I go out, out and some cop stops me, I'll, I'll say, you know, look, arrest me or, or go away. I'm not bothering anybody. I was really safe until you stuck your nose in my face. You know, <laughs> don't forget, you know, what happened after 9-11, the, the, the powers that everything turned into the department of a dhs or whatever the heck they are yeah and look what they're doing with it these days Jim. yeah they, they look have what they did with it look at the politics of 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 what they've done to to what the the the, the deep state has used the surveillance powers look at yep. the crap that yep. they've pulled that's that's what I, where i was heading the fact that we can't uh, we can't put up with it we we can't put up with it uh we we don't elect governors to be little rulers you know we uh correct we elect them to be administrators, and uh, at any that's, rate, what, that's how our, our America was founded with rebels, people that didn't just yeah. go the uh, well <laughs> status they, they, quo. You know, we're giving them the the benefit of the doubt on this virus thing, but right. Not much longer because the, the the just just not that many people. They built, they spent fortunes building all those hospitals, sending the ship up there and. Twenty nine hundred beds it. in the Javits said they didn't even they it turns out they didn't even need it. Barely used it. China can you imagine China actually saying that not that I believe it, that they've had that they had less cases of it than we have in the United States where it started? That's nonsense. They stopped reporting at one yeah, point. Of course. So yeah. come on. Just uh, just built. But they still got people scared. In thinking that you know, it's like it, like like uh, 
uh, Lutzat says it's it, 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 it's it's not the Black Plague. It's not instant death. No. It, it's not Ebola. It's 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 a a a, a bad a bad flu. Respiratory disease. A, a, a very a very uh, contagious one at that. But the the good thing about a, a really contagious disease is that the the herd immunity builds up much faster because more people get it. So I understand the philosophy of slowing the curve, flattening the curve so the hospitals aren't overrun. But at this point, the hospitals are not going to be overrun. Mitch, when it's you build very, an immune, immunity to this, you could still get it later, right? Just probably the probability is less. There is no cure for the common cold. There is no cure right. for any virus. You can right. always no cure for, get it. There's no cure for AIDS either. All you can do is vaccinate against it so your body builds up some kind of natural immunity. But getting a flu shot doesn't even guarantee you won't get Correct. the flu. Or right. getting a flu shot doesn't guarantee that, that, they, that they actually... Uh, Got the right got strain. The right, yeah, the right strains actually predicted the right the right strains because right. and and there's a lot of misconceptions about viruses. Viruses are not living things, you know. They're not they're not alive. A virus is not a living organism. It's a protein. It's a protein that reacts with your cells and latches on to your and and gets reproduced with your DNA. Without a host for a virus, a virus would not reproduce. It cannot reproduce, unlike bacteria, which are living organisms. Okay, and a lot of people, when they talk about virus staying alive, they're talking about a virus, a virus that's alive is intact. The minute soap hits a virus, the, the, uh, the, this uh, fatty, waxy capsule that it's in dissolves and the gust just all the little, you know, the, the molecule just falls apart and that's the end of it. But it's not a living thing. And right. if, it, if a virus mutates, it doesn't mutate on its own. It mutates because something in the reproductive chemistry of the host made a, a copy of it with a mistake. You guys, you understand that, that it with mutation. With a mistake? A mistake, yeah. It's you know you get it, when you when you copy a living uh, 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 when a when a cell divides mm -hmm. and makes a duplicate of itself. Uh, sometimes it misses. Oh, I see what you're saying. A molecule here or there. Well, you take a DNA strand and swap a couple of molecules, and a lot of Changes cases everything. doesn't mean anything. Some cases you may come out with six fingers on your left hand. Right. You know, <laughs> and that's Jim, where mutations come from. And birth, they call. I'm sorry, go ahead. We're talking no, we got a question about from, Jim got a question from Lutzat. He's asking how far the range is on your Inspires. The, the Inspire, if I go in one direction, I get about 700 feet. If I go in the other direction, I get two miles. It all depends on the Wi-Fi that's around me because the Inspires are the original um, light, light bridge system. Oh, so that uses, oh, John Cuppy's back. Hey, John, you have us still here. We're still here, at a, as usual, just a wide variety of different topics that uh, that came up. I don't know if we've been any help tonight. I didn't get very far with my orange cube. Got the orange cube working, but the GPS, the GPS is you, Jim, on that cube is using instead of just hooking into a UART like they normally do, and this has the connection for it. They they've decided with on the new GPSs to ship it set up to use what they call the CAN bus. Right. And when it's not plug and play. So you got to figure out which of the many settings to go in in the configuration of RG Pilot to fire up the CAN bus so that it finds the GPS. So I didn't. I was going to do that tonight, but it looks like I'll probably have to watch a couple videos and they don't dig it. Yeah, I was good. they don't give you a pin layout? No, the, the, no problem. Which? No, the, no, the, that's not a problem. It comes with the cable and the plug. Okay, you right. just plug it in. But the thing, but but the 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 G, the software when you load it, the firmware, probably defaults to the the old or traditional compass setup using a UART, the GPS setting using a UART. So, uh, 
it, it just so happens that they just changed. I expected when I got this thing and opened it up to find the eight pin plug on it that plugs the compass in. In fact, I may they give you the wire for it. They give you the wire with the eight pin plug as well as the CAN bus. I may just do away with this. I don't need the CAN bus because I'm not gonna have a million other sensors on it. You, you can use this CAN bus if you're putting in all of the motion sensors and LIDARs and all that other stuff. Then you just string them along on this one bus. But in this helicopter, I'm not using any other sensors. I have uh, all the built-in compass and IMUs are all built into the flight controller. In the GPS unit, it's got another compass and another IMU. Uh, but as far as any external sensors, I'm not using any. So I, I, I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to, inside the here GPS, there's a little switch that says CAN bus or UART. So yeah. I, I have a funny feeling that if I just switch that to UART, put so the other So you want to go UART on. to have the two communicate with each other. Well, there's another advantage to it also is that on the on this GPS unit, uh, and this is a, this was the hundred dollar super deluxe GPS, the here two it's called. It's also got inside this GPS unit, it's got another IMU, gyro, compass, and barometer, and processor. So this thing when the software is written for it, can actually almost act as a standalone flight controller or a backup uh, for any of the stuff that's on the other unit for safety's sake. And it was like a hundred bucks. So, uh, but it's got a button on it. There's a push button right there. And that button is the safety switch, safety button. And the idea is that you can't arm the stupid thing, no matter what you do, until you push this button, which is, keep something from firing itself up until you're absolutely ready. Unfortunately, they said when you're using the CAN bus, that safety switch at this point it doesn't work. And you have to go into the software, into the uh, setup and say to uh, uh, disregard the safety switch. But I like the idea of having a safety switch, especially on this monster helicopter. I don't want that thing triggering itself somehow and, you know, hit the wrong switch on the radio and it starts going so i like the idea about you okay, just have to you're... know if that option if the uart option is going to affect anything in down the line with mission planning that you want to do or the no objective. because that's that, that's what that uart on the gps is the way they've been connecting them for years and that's the way they're connected to any of the other flight controllers in, in INAB. this can bus is a whole new new thing uh that might come into play when they're building these wildly complicated commercial delivery drones, automatic. I have them on all, on my GP, uh, my DJIs, so that yeah, I they can hook a, a Nvidia Jetson two on manifold onto them. Okay, so you've got the CAN bus in there too. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 uh, I uh, does the Mavic two have it? No, on, I don't think on so. On the controller? Where the hell's the Mavic two? Oh, it's over there. On, I don't it know. has it on the controller. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, it doesn't. I don't. I don't remember ever seeing anything like that. But uh, I think I, I'll get it working. But you know, I th th when you're when you're trying to figure something out on a live stream, you know, you look stupid. At, you look stupid enough anyway. No, we don't have anything like that on the uh, on the on, on the uh, Mavic controller. See, I'm drinking coffee now, and I'll be up all night because of this. Look at your cup. <laughs> you. you the cup, yeah, any it, shade of green yeah. is green. Yeah. yeah, it's cool or yellow. Yeah, this this thing, cool. that's yellow. It picks up yellow. Yeah, this cup, this cup's even better. This cup is all green. <laughs> See through. That's cool. That's cool. Isn't it? Yeah, that that cup's all green. So uh, and and uh, you can see, uh, you can see the color, the color of the cup there. See. But when I bring it in front of here, it's pretty cool. It, it's see-through. Yeah. Well, that's that's that's. Well, I like the green screen. It's kind of neat, because uh, you know you guys don't see it, but I'm, I'm resting my hand on the top of the back of my chair right here. <laughs> in fact, you can see on the on the side over over here where well when I when I swing the Did chair around. Did you make around, that? 
Did you make that green slip over? Yeah. No, I, I, I bought it on Amazon. They sell it. It's just oh, a, really? a big sheet of green fabric, I, a, a green screen fabric. I, a couple bucks. It wasn't, wasn't expensive. I bought a 10 foot roll. I got it sitting in the friggin' house. It's still in the tube. Well, why don't you use that stuff? It's fun what you can do with green screens. Um, you know, what would I put up? I don't. I don't know. You can make anything you want because you 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 you're limited only by only. I got by... enough problems editing, Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that's, Jim. That's why. That's why I don't. Uh, uh... Oh, Doctor Drones here. How you doing, my friend? Doctor Drones joining us. Yeah. Yeah, he's from Indonesia over there somewhere. Mitch, I'm in California. You mentioned Santa Ana, Ludset. Yeah, I, I read about that. Uh, I think it was Santa Ana or Santa Clara, one of the Santas. The Santa, Santa Ana wins. Uh, where they said they, they, they tested thousands of people who never had a COVID test for the immunity and found out that they underestimated the, the number of actual COVID cases by 50 times. Wow. Yeah, 50 times more people actually had this bug. It's because most people that are exposed to it are not going to get death, are not going to die, and they're not going to get deathly sick. Oh, they're come gonna, on. They're going to feel like they have a, maybe a little cold. Some people Fever, have no maybe. symptoms whatsoever. And that's the, that's the problem is these people can spread it even though they're not symptomatic. They can still spread it. You're really while. ruining my state representative's day because he gives out a daily death count. Well, CNN, man. They do that here their, too. Whole, their whole deal on CNN daily is to have count. that I, daily I'm death for count. The minute by minute, let's no, get the camera like, at the deathbed yeah. count. Yeah, it's, it's absurd. They've, they've turned it completely political. It's completely, completely political. And, I think it's uh, a combination of fear mongering and all this news is making people sick. The people That's are tired what of it. Tired. Well, it, it maybe maybe a little bit in that respect, but uh, it, it's it's just all it's it's become all politics. It's yet and and uh, I'm not going to. I don't want to get real political here, but you either you either like Trump or you hate Trump, and that's which side of the virus you're on. It's all about th getting rid of Donald Trump. It's all about trying to make him look bad. It's all about. Go finding some reason, ruin the economy, so we have a reason to tell you to vote for Joe Biden. I, I'm just sick and tired of that, too. It doesn't matter who the damn president is. We've got to waste our time trying to get rid of him. I hated Obama. Clinton never yeah, touched well, the girl. Well, then you get the, come on, yeah, man. It, 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 <laughs> Every time we get a president. But that's, the, but that's the playbook. We're so divided. We're so divided. The people aren't, America they don't, they're not Americans me. anymore. They're, they're, they're conservative Americans versus liberal Americans. And, you know, it's the stuff civil wars are made of. And, Too many wimps. Uh, well, you know, it, it, it's, if, if any of you have ever read uh, Rules for Radicals by Saul Alinsky. No. Okay. Saul Alinsky is, was one of these 50s and 60s guys that was around about the time that Hillary Clinton was still in school and she was a she was associated with him and Abby Hoffman you remember them yeah and I know the weather, Abby. We, the weather underground the weather underground that whole, that whole well well Saul Alinsky wrote uh, a book called Rules for Radicals and it is and has become the Democrat Party playbook and it describes all the tactics that they use constantly and they have always gotten away with because the Republicans are gutless and are afraid of being called names like being, you know, just call them names. You know, this is where all the social justice warriors come from. This is where the victim stuff comes from. This is where the class envy comes from. Divide Safe. them up. Divide them Safe. into... into Groups divide them into different racial groups, economic groups. By design, and pander and pander to them, and we can solve your problems. Vote for us, and that's, that's how why I work. like Donald Trump. He hasn't got a political bone in his body. No, he doesn't. And and you know he's the first, as far as I'm concerned, the first decent human being we've had as president. The guy, so you know, so he he likes women. So do I. You know. Yeah. 
Uh, but, <laughs> I'm with you. I'm guilty. I hear you. But they don't. But they don't. Uh, they just. They. They. They can't control the narrative. The press can't intimidate like they do. And and man, he could care just, less. He's a businessman. He's a businessman, and he's an administrator. And 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 consider him what he's working with. I mean, he can't open his mouth without. without you know, look at the idiots he's got. His in, the, the people he's got in the government. When he when he came in. And and said drain the swamp. He didn't realize the swamp was the Atlantic Ocean. For God's sakes, you know. The fact of life. These... Fact of life. Fact of life. You could have a private sector job and work for Mitch or Jim, and you're going to God bless it work for those eight hour days. The minute you're working for the city of New York or the city of Palm Bay, that eight hour work just went to about two hours of work during that eight hour period. That is just the fact that these people will take two days to paint a park bathroom. I mean, this oh, is the yeah. kind of crap you're working with. Good enough for government, they say. Good enough for yeah. a government job. I well, see that when they work on the roads. They have like three trucks, ten guys, and only two people actually work. Some, at least one. One guy. The guy holding the sign saying, slow down. He's working. Slow down. He's working, yeah. Then the other ones are holding the shovels up. You know, they're leaning on them, right. holding them up, make sure the shovels they, don't fall. And down. they drive 30, 40 miles an hour on a 55-mile-an-hour highway on top. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, but that's, that's – that's, and they got the best health care and the best retirements, too. Better and that drives, that drives me nuts. I look around at the people that are retired down here and the ones that are driving the brand new Cadillacs every year and going on cruises every week are all government retirees. Those of us that had to kill ourselves all, all our lives to make a living, we don't have those kind of retirements. These people are making 100, 150,000 bucks a year for In doing retirement. that. And they did nothing but, but cause us grief. Those of us that tried to run a business all our lives and had to deal with these bureaucrats all these people did all their lives was cause us grief, cost us money, and we reward them by by letting them live like kings when they retire. I made a huge mistake. How does that? Wait a should minute. Should have gone to work for the government is what I. How done. is there that system, the railroad retirement system, and then Jim, the peon system? How yeah, did that? Well, how do we let that? Well, who did how that? Did government, how did government get as big? Unions did that. Uh, how did the government get as big as it's gotten? It was never intended to be this big. Certainly right. never intended to be, to tell us drone flyers how to you know how to regulate that we can't go to the local park and fly our drones 100 feet off the ground. But yet, they're they're in everything, and uh, that's why. How about you uh, just give me the same rules as the airplane flying up there? You're not no, sending out his home no, address to me. No, because we can demonize. We can demonize you. Yes. Uh, I, I don't I don't know I I uh, you know if I wasn't I, I've never been a protester I, I've always been a kind of guy that said you know if I don't like it I just turn around and go the other way I never tried to change anything because you can't change anything uh, you I moved tried, to Florida to get away from it and all the damn New Yorkers are moving down here yeah I'm and bitching. what they do and they're bitching and they're going go to vote New for, York and they're going to vote for liberals. And in Florida, and they're and then they're going to turn Florida into New York, and then they're going to bitch. Yeah, and then they're going to move. About it. And then they're going to move somewhere <laughs> else. They're like fucking, excuse my French, locusts. Yeah. You know, yeah. they they hit a hit a field of corn, and the next thing you know, it's a smoking ruin. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? They're they're a lot of them may, may be misguided. They're nice people, but uh, Carlos, you know Suffolk County, right? You're in Queens. Yeah. I'm in, I lived in Suffolk for 34 years. You said Smithtown? No? Yeah, yeah. And I couldn't take it there. 34 years of that crap, I had to get the hell out. I That's thought I was safe down here. Right. <laughs> so we got drone pools here and still here. And uh, who else? Love Oh, Ed, Love My Drones is here. John Cuppy's back. Uh, we're talking politics again. At any rate, I just get... I just get uh, I get... I'm tired of hearing the same old crap, you know... It, and you can't you can't argue with it. You can't. You'll never convert anybody. No. You'll never change anybody's mind. You can't politics. It's like religion. the God story, you know. Uh, no, no, no. There's no God. It came from this. Well, where did that came come from? Well, it came. Well, from, where yeah. did that come from? You can we just all, keep going. Yeah, we, we. You know, we all have our our views, and I I don't ever talk uh, 
or ever, I, I'm not a believer, but I never ever tried to argue or, or even debate anybody about why I don't believe. That's personal, that's my, my opinion. Uh, you know, if you ask me, I'm firmly convinced it's all but, just just another political thing. But I still don't go with I still don't go with putting one down over the other. No, no. And, and, and in fact, I have a very simple, a very simple uh, bit of Adage. logic that I that I use when it comes to religion. Um, live and let live. There are 200 different religions on this planet, at least. Um, yeah, about as many countries. Okay, so you got 200 different religions who all have their own idea of what God is. Okay, so who among who among any of us? Yeah, yeah, is so arrogant as to say we're right and you're wrong because first of all, it's none not, of us have been on this planet it's for more than 100 years. But logic dictates that just because there are 200 different versions of God. Don't put logic in the in it. No, but logic, <laughs> but logic also says all two hundred of them can be wrong. There is no logic that says one has to be right. It's called so, faith, Mitch. Faith. No, well, faith is defined as, as the overall. At, at right. Faith. The, the, if you look up faith in a dictionary, it says accepting I something. With, with, no, I understand, but it's it says not a accepting. Of it says accepting something with no proof or. or <laughs> Or evidence it would never pass muster in a court but what I'm saying is just because everybody thinks they're right doesn't mean they're not all wrong okay there's no there's you know if I say pick a number between 1 and 200 and I'm thinking of a number 300 you're all going to be wrong so maybe maybe if there is a God he's different than everybody thinks you know, like me how are we to know? Who who the hell are we? We we don't we weren't there. We're just we're just reading news reports from two thousand years ago. Or if he, 5, if, if years we ago. get up there and he has my mustache, we're vindicated. Yeah, he may he may look like a platypus. He may not even be a he. You know, oh, he's a he. who, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't know because. We're all it's, gone it's on faith. what it's somebody Mitch, else. Mitch, will we have to give him reparations? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> all I can tell you is, if if that's real, then being Jewish, I'm I've been around longer than all you guys. So no, I am. I am. <laughs> I am. I'm. I'm one of the quote chosen people, which At which one which, time. Which, which reminds me, oh, what do you think? You think he changes his mind if he that, that he, he he doesn't like us now? He picks no, 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 no. Maybe like next that. year I'll I'll pick the Protestants and uh, no, in, in, in like three that. in the year three thousand two hundred I'm going to head over to the Methodists. You know, come on, guys, use use your common sense. The Jews, we're the chosen people. I'm saying that with a, I'm saying that with a with a fo out of focus face. Okay, so uh, this old Jewish guy, this old Jewish guy dies, uh -oh. <laughs> and he goes and he goes to heaven, and he and he gets to the gates, and he says, "So I want to see God." So they said, "Okay." So he, he said, "Why?" He says, "I got a question. I want to see God." So. He says, uh, okay, um, we'll get you an audience. So a couple of weeks later, he gets an audience with, with, with God. And he says to God, uh, I got a question. He says, is it true that uh, the Jews are the chosen people? God looks at him and he says, uh, that's true, my son. Yes, the, uh, the Jews are the chosen people. And he says, well, could you choose somebody else? That's it. That's it. <laughs> because think about it. If you're Jewish with the persecution and the history and the hatred and the Hitler and all that other stuff, being the chosen people hasn't paid off real well. So, <laughs> so the joke is, will you choose somebody else for a change? And, and, and that's how most Jewish people feel about, about, about being called the chosen people. Uh, it, it, it's been, look, my entire family, all kidding aside. Uh, my father left, uh, escaped Russia 
in nine, his family got out of Russia in 1910. He had over in Eastern Europe a huge family of, of cousins and uncles. Uh, every single one of them was uh, killed by Hitler in the Second World War. There is no trace of there was no trace of any of our family left. So it's a good thing he got out. And I have almost no living relatives here in this country because they were all over, left in, in Eastern Russia and Czechoslovakia, Poland and that area. So, you know, that kind of shit can't happen again. Uh, we, we can't, oh, it won't we happen just, again. We can't, we can't go. Well, we keep saying I don't that. think Christians it's, would allow it either. Uh, listen, you had the Crusades, you had the Treaty of Versailles after World oh, War yeah. I that started all this. Yeah. But and it, it, You got too it, many sheep. And it can happen again. It certainly can happen again. You got yeah, too many damn sheep in this world, and not enough people. When I'm talking dead, about sheep, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. It, okay. But it yeah, is yeah. happening. It is happening. Themselves. No, no, no. I can't say that. They may think I'm racist. No, no, no. But I it, can't yeah, say that. yeah. That, that, political, that political correctness stuff is garbage. Right. It's a tactic. It's a tactic. It, it, it to it, separate it, us. It, it, it just puts you right. Put you right in line. How about I give uh, you make, a participation award? Would that make you feel better? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no trophies anymore. Just uh, listen. Yeah, the minute they use the word minority, they're trying to, when they use the word minority, they're trying to imply that somebody's a majority. So that trying to make, in my eyes, that tries to make the feel person to yeah, make gotta, the yeah, person yeah. feel less. You know and what you I ought never to do for that trap. You ought to, what you ought to do, Carlos, if you haven't, is is go online. You can find it. Get a copy of Rules for Radicals by Alinsky. <laughs> no, just read it. And you'll read that book. And, and as he lays out the tactics of how to protest, how to intimidate, how to divide people into different groups, how to use uh, name calling and, and shaming as, as a way to get your, it, it is, it, it is, works. it is the, 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 the liberal playbook it. to a T. And isn't it funny that Hillary Clinton knew Saul Linsky was part of that crowd. You know, I think I know who you're talking about now. She well, was, he, that guy was in the news recently because he's not such a nice guy. <laughs> no, 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 you know no. what? That and, name and is then, coming and back then, to me now that you say Hillary. And then Obama with that Bill Ayers and, and the Weather Underground and, and Dorn and that whole group of radicals. They are radical extremists, these people. And, we're, and, and they're using these tactics and they're fooling people and getting their asses elected. And when they get elected, what do they do is they fill up the entire government full of unfireable bureaucrats of their ilk. And we're you seeing can't fire them. For, the, for the past three, four years, what they've been doing to Donald Trump is treason. And yet you can't fire, you can't fire these guys. Donald Excuse Trump fires me. anybody. That's another thing they want to impeach him for. It's crazy. How the hell did we ever get here? You know, I was in the military. This is not why I I served my country. To see I was in the Marines. Yeah, we I have a friend that's in the uh, in the armed forces, and he, he I don't know if I said this last year, but he said, you know, it's crazy. They have a whole, and this is in New York at least. They have a whole month for Gay Pride, but they only have one day for Veterans Day. He says something's yeah. wrong with that picture. Yes, yeah, true. Well, you know? every everything's wrong with it, and it's all group, you know, uh, identity politics. Victim, you know what's funny, politics. Carlos. Is yes, you and I would always go to the Feast of San Gennaro and have a blast and all that other yeah. crap. And now that if they, now they're trying to break up all those fun things that we enjoyed in the 60s, 70s, 80s, you know what I'm saying? Why they're would they take, take that out. away? Because it's too uh, ethnic? Yeah, uh, too Italian, too Spanish, too this, too that. You can't do it. I These, mean, the world. I, do you remember a movie way back when it was called Pleasantville? Like the whole world was white in one color. That's like that's it's almost like they want a hospital, a hospital type environment where everybody's I don't know, it's just like you said. They want a lot of sheep that are easily led. That's well, now they're now they're trying to for some reason they're trying to play on the idea that the more African Americans are susceptible to this virus than white people. So that's the white people's, <laughs> somehow it's our fault. It's the white people's fault. Somehow. I think that's the reparations for that. And, 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 and they, because of that, they're, they, they're entitled. entitled. Oh my God. Word, that, to something, this entitled, this, it, I know. You know, that's why I can hardly, I can hardly watch the news. You remember Alan Keyes, right? Oh you yeah. You remember Alan Keyes? He yeah, was, he black, was a smart black guy. guy. Yeah, he was conservative, I remember, yeah. He said something uh, to the effect of, 
they asked a bunch of black people about racism and uh, were you a product or do you believe you're, uh, you know, that people are racist? 50% of them, yes, yes, yes. Then they asked Chinese people and it was a lower number than the black people. But then they asked the black people about the Chinese people and they had a higher number in their mind of what the Chinese would say, meaning they, they have that victim mentality for all races, not just they, for but they, But we don't, children don't get education anymore. They get indoctrination in this yeah, country now. Yeah, right. They might as well be in North Korea, for God's sakes. You know, where they, uh, in North Korea, they have the kids in school every day have to sing these songs about uh, right. the leaders, about Kim Jong Il, uh, yeah. Kim Jong Il, and and uh, and his father and his grandfather. Okay, they so have there's a lot to day. be said for homeschool. They're, I they're can tell brought you. up. They're brought up like this. Well, if you're, I don't know if you remember, but they tried that shit with Obama. They had written songs about Obama in school, and they had they were having these kids singing these songs uh, uh, about Obama as the leader in in elementary school. Jim, do you remember when got. they wanted to? Uh, they wanted to have phonics. <laughs> this yes, phonics of the language. Do you remember that? I do remember that. Yeah, yeah I remember that. And one day, my my ten year old grandson comes up to me and tells me about global warming and how we're all going to die in ten years. And I said, "Where did you hear that?" I'm uh, from my teacher, like it's gospel. Yeah. And I said, "Well, she's, come not on, not you, she's not telling you the truth." And his the inconvenient was, truth well, came out in the nineties, didn't it? Yeah. Listen to this, Jim. My 10-year-old you? grandson says to me, well, you don't know what you're talking about, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you say to that? Here, here they've got they've got these kids at Shut that up. young age. Well, that's not going to change. That's not going to fix the problem. The problem is this kid's getting a daily indoctrination from these liberal wackos in school. The whole agenda is there. So it's not an education anymore. They rewrite American history. They, 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 they don't tell, they don't tell the, 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 the truth about what really happened. I oh, know that because I was there connect, when a lot of this stuff happened the that they talk about. They don't connect the dots either. You ask somebody about the Treaty of Versailles, ask anybody in here on the panel. They don't know what the hell you're talking about. We crucified the Germans so bad that we allowed Hitler to be made. You, the, the, I'm not going to go into that, but... Well, you know, it, 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 it's, all, it's, it's all that way, and... They take it out of the of, books. Think about the fact, think about the fact that we, what we think we, what we think we know is what we hear from the news, from people who've heard it from the news. Oh God, yeah. So the narrative that is presented to people is totally dependent on what source you use for your news. And news today on the on the left side is nowhere near the truth. On the right side it's mostly the truth, let's say, let's hope. But that's the what we think. The liberals think that if you watch Fox News, you're getting nothing but propaganda. You need to go to CNN for the real news. Now I think my favorite is Tucker Carl. Tucker Carlson, out of all of them, Barney well, is just a, a he just there, drives me. There, nuts. you can't <laughs> look. There's news and there's opinion. Right. News is Joe shot, shot John yesterday. The funeral's tomorrow. Right. You can't you can't spin that any other way. You know, uh, Joe shot John. John's dead. Joe's in jail. You know, Joe's funeral's tomorrow. The trial's next week. Okay, that's news. Uh, the rest of it is the rest of it is 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 opinion. Uh, for example, Donald Trump told every American to drink Clorox. That's a CNN headline. That was on Facebook. CNN. People are stupid, man. They should no, actually write. I mean, are I mean it's, it's on. It's on. C it's on. It's on. No, it's on CNN. It's 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 right there. Here. Uh, but isn't that kind of like Trump. calling people stupid? Hold on a second. When if they believe it, it, are they not stupid? Exactly. <laughs> here, here. I mean, let's, holy God. Let's, let's, here, let, let's, let's just, uh, let's look at this. Let's explore this here. Uh, <laughs> Why it's important. Trump's suggestions. Here it is. 
Trump's, okay, let's say, there, Trump Clark's, let's type CNN in there and really narrow it down. Okay, fact check. CNN.com. Fact check. Trump lies that he was being sarcastic when he talked about injecting disinfectant. Now. They know his heart. Listen, <laughs> this is, what they're saying in this headline is that Trump talked about injecting disinfectant, which he didn't. So this is all, this is a lie. This is why they call it fake news. And, and it's under a heading of facts first. Okay, this stuff just pisses me off. President Trump lied Friday when he said he was being sarcastic when he asked medical experts on Thursday to look into the possibility of injecting disinfectant as a treatment for the coronavirus. Doctors in the company that make Lysol and, and, and Detol oh, yeah. warned that injecting or ingesting disinfectants is dangerous. This has been dominating the, the fake news for a friggin' week now. If you it's have bullshit. to be told that that's dangerous, you should be Not, taking it. Okay, let me, let me explain. If you, did any of you ever, did you listen to the news conference? I did. No. Okay, I did. And what happened was Trump was talking about the fact that there are certain chemicals that people put in inhalers that actually can be curative. He wasn't talking about Lysol and Clorox. He was talking about drugs. People use drugs and inhalers all the time. And he didn't say, hey, American people, you need to go out there and, 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 and yeah, you know, drink, drink Clorox. <laughs> Where the hell does he, said, come from? he said to the doctors, if there is some kind of something that can be inhaled or, or taken that might help this, you need to look into that. That's but what he, Trump he said. He did use the word injection. It doesn't matter what words he used. He didn't but mean that's where that. People are, no, I'm not that's saying That's what I'm saying. So he can't, see, he they can't say it he said that. anything, no matter what he said. It's like the question. So, Jim, when did you stop beating your wife? Who's that? <laughs> she ran away. Okay. You can't, how, how do you answer a question like that? Yeah, right. When did you stop beating your wife, Jim? I never that was beat when my we wife. Were kids. We used to well, ask the other you know, kid. So, 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 so here's how it goes, Jim. Here's how the news media works. Jim, when did you stop beating your wife? Jim, you say, I never beat my wife. I'd say whose wife? No, Jim says, Jim says, I never, I never, I never beat my wife. The headline comes out. Jim denies Denied. reports Denied. that he's been beating his wife. Yep. Yep. So, Sources close say. to Jim right, say, right, right, right. yeah, critics of Jim have complained that Jim <laughs> has been beating his wife. Oh, God. We, we have it on, on, we have reliable sources. Yeah, Jim, sure. Jim, what do you say to the fact that your critics have, are accusing you of beating your wife? You know, this is how they operate. They're friggin' jackals, these people. But they, you have they, to get them back with the own words. You got to say, yes, I've been beating her. I killed her. She's dead. No, come you, do that. you, you do that. They'll be playing that sound bite for the rest of your life. Well, come on. Come on. But, see, sure, that's what that wants to give them what they want, so it's no more fun. It's like right. when they used yeah. to tell you when somebody teased you, you don't react because that's yeah. giving them well, what Well, that's they what's want. great. That's what's great about that's Trump. What Trump. He's that's the what first. Trump has done. To, right. He, he's, he's the first Republican. <laughs> the first Republican that I've ever seen that's a street fighter and and knows this crap for what it is. He's so from New York. He calls him. He calls him fake news. He calls. He he doesn't. He doesn't kowtow. He doesn't care what they say about him. He's he'll. They'll ask one of these snarky questions and he'll say, "Who are you with?" <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> CNN. So, okay, we'll get we'll get to you later. To go to the next person. <laughs> You're fake news. You're fake news, he says. Yeah. And they're, it's driving them crazy, and it's making them, it's making them even worse. So then you, got, then you get, like, that headline I just showed you. The, the headline. Facts first. Facts first. Trump lies 
that he was being sarcastic when he talked about injecting disinfectant. Now, how do you write a headline like that and say we're not biased? Okay. They don't care. They don't care. <laughs> they say they're not. They say they're not biased. Let's see what else we got here. Let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, doctors reject Trump's dangerous suggestion. There you go. We got a whole panel. Doctors reject Trump's dangerous suggestion to use disinfectant as a coronavirus treatment. You see, they all, already you, look look at, at at how that's worded. Hey, hey, that's and Sanjay it, it, Gupta now, man. Yeah, Don't play with my Sanjay. Uh, uh, yeah, another another friggin' him and him and doctor uh, and, and Oz is on Fox News and, and and they're all just celebrity doctors. You know, they play them on TV. Uh, Pretty much. That's not what I mean. I watched I watched this this press conference and I didn't come away from it. And then. Uh, there's another story. Bleach and sunlight might kill the coronavirus on a park bench, but they can be harmful to the body. So, so sunlight. Even sunlight. Well, sunlight cause, can cause skin cancer. Yeah, so yeah. that's why Donald Trump needs to be impeached. Jeez. Because 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 sun. He suggested that sunlight has been shown to and. And he's ter obviously terribly misleading the American people, and we need to get rid of him, and we need to get Joe Biden in there as president so that he can get his son appointed king of the world. You know, it's probably a terrorist. Un it is so <laughs> freaking unbelievable. And you know, you wonder how people have half, half a brain uh, that they, they don't. fall for this stuff. They here. don't have. Here, half here you go. Here you go. Trump, ever the salesman, is peddling dangerous cures for the coronavirus. Okay, CNN. Uh, How do you Cuomo get away with satirizes? Trump? Here, listen. Chris Cuomo satirizes Trump's disinfectant in injection suggestion. Take two shots of Windex, swallow this light bulb, and call me in the morning. Okay, this from one of the the greatest morons I've ever seen in my entire life. The king of the basement. Jesus coming out of the basement after his coronavirus. Unbelievable, this guy. Fredo. You hear that, Fredo? Fredo. <laughs> Fredo. Uh, honest to God, the world has lost its mind. The world has lost its Mitch, mind. Did and you yet see, did every you see, uh, day. Did you see well, Como and Fredo with the exchange about mom and, and he liked Oh, yeah, I saw and, that. How that about how about, how about he ranked out this guy on a bicycle because oh, he's, yeah, supposed yeah, to yeah, be, yeah. he's supposed to be in his basement Quarantine. having coronavirus. You know, he's in the kitchen cooking tomato sauce yeah. with his family yeah. around taking buddy. pictures. Some quarantine. Then his wife gets sick. Well, right. whose fault was that, idiot? Yeah. Uh, unbelievable. Yep. Unbelievable. And he almost killed this guy for calling him Fredo. <laughs> Call that a racial a racial slur. It's an Italian. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, and the Atlantic. Okay, now the Atlantic is is another uh, is another one of these wildly liberal conspiracies. You know, just just anti-Trump organizations. So what do they put as a headline? Okay, you ready? I mean, this is important for any of you morons out there that thought that drinking bleach <laughs> might be a great idea. They put out an article, why it's important not to drink bleach. I saw that, that when you first popped that up. Yeah. If you got to why, be told. Why you, you is it important drink. not to drink bleach, okay? Wow. Here, here's another one. The Los Angeles time, Trump wonders if injecting bleach kills coronavirus, but Christine Cuomo bathes in it. <laughs> Christine Cuomo, Fredo's wife, sells crisp healing crystals on the internet. So she's obviously an expert in medicine. Does she really? Yeah, she really does. Uh, she's selling a last name. She's not selling so, a crystal. So, I mean, think about it. Trump, in, in the middle of a press conference, with having these doctors and other people say that, you know, we we found that sunlight and these other things, types of disinfectants, yeah. kill the virus, and we're, we think there might be some use for this. And Trump says, well, you should investigate that then. That statement has turned into this tirade of friggin' lunacy from a media that says they have no bias against Trump. Now, sells commercials. 
Am I, am I crazy? What am I missing? Somebody please tell me what I'm missing here. You're and giving, we still you're giving have, the human race too much credit for thinking on their own. That's well, what there, I, I, I mean, it's just none of it makes sense. Come on, guys. It either makes sense or it doesn't. And, and you know, don't. Uh, where did you? I had actually had a guy, you know, at the cigar shop where I buy. I went in to buy some cigars, and he's a Canadian guy who's a liberal as hell, and he watches CNN all day. And he says to me, well, what do you think about Trump telling you to drink Clorox? I almost decked him. I couldn't believe it. I said, what are you talking about? Well, Trump told everybody to drink Clorox. So he did not. I said, did you see the press conference? Well, no, but I saw the interview. Yeah, no. The answer with, the doc no. with the doctors. Yeah, I said, well, fuck, no wonder. I said, turn that friggin' CNN off, will you? You're, you're, it's fake news. It's not news. It's Democrat activists. How do you get away with this crap in America? Because it's the freedom America of the press, changed. first First Amendment, <clears throat> and it, 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 it's the fifth rail or the third rail. Nobody, how do you touch it? Where Look do you what Rick Halber says. I don't see how any news channel can talk about you or their president in that way. It's unbelievable that the Democrat, and if there was a Democratic president, I would oh, they still kiss give his ass. Yeah, 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 but that's just it. See, they were Bahama, They were Obama's butt boy, but with Trump. They, and and they say we're not we're not biased. Now I didn't like Obama. I thought Obama was was the like worst thing that ever happened to this country. But but we didn't go up making stories up about him when when well there was enough shit that was true. We're finding out. But look what they do. Look at the tactics. And I'm telling you, if you don't believe me, get the book by Saul Alinsky. Rules for radicals. They all live by that. That is their playbook, and their talking points are everywhere. And as long as they have the now, the the only good news is that the ratings of the liberal media are going down because people are beginning to realize there is something not right about the crap that they're saying. And yet every That's why day, it's kind of a good thing. Like people, uh, Alexandria Ocasio and the CNN. The more they talk, the more people are going to wake up. They, no, they no, 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 but absolute... what I'm saying is people are going to wake up listening to them and they're going to actually help Trump at the end either of the that day. Or, really either that or people, but they're still, it still kills me. Here you got Joe Biden, a guy that clearly is, is, is losing his marbles. It's unfortunate. Now, I never liked Biden. I've been following his career for 30 years as a senator. I know every shady friggin' deal he's gotten into. Same thing with Nancy Pelosi and her family. These right. people become billionaires while they're public servants. There's something right. that doesn't quite add up right there, you know? How do you how do you go into politics and become a billionaire uh, exactly. if you're not funneling deals to your real to your builder husband or anything else? Uh, or your kids or or everybody. Look at look at Chelsea Clinton. What the hell does she have to be living in a six million dollar friggin' townhome? Last name, yeah, Clinton we're, Foundation, we're, yeah, the Clinton Foundation, which was the which is the which was a crime anyway. So, where, where do these, where do these people come off? You know, with this with the things, this business about Biden and his kid in Ukraine, it happened. The evidence is there. They're trying to quash it, hide it, and everything else. The nonsense about how they tried to set Trump up with this phony Russian nonsense. The evidence is there. It's all laid out. Uh, yet the, the, the people that are supposed to be uh, investigating it are all are all liberals. They're 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 part of they're part of a bureaucracy that is very beneficial to them and they don't want to see it go away. They don't they like living in the swamp and they don't want to see the swamp <laughs> trained. They love it in the swamp. Uh, it's 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 absolutely nuts, and and uh, there's nothing I can do about it. You know, I got 16 people watching here tonight, all of whom probably agree with everything I'm saying. So I'm preaching to the choir. Yeah. Uh, if I went out there and tried to talk like this to a whole bunch of liberals, I'd I'd probably get attacked, beaten, and my tires slashed and my house burned down because that's and how I they they do speech. it. You'd That's how they do it. Speech. Yeah. And then I'd be arrested for hate speech. So, you know, they have they have unfortunately uh, invented these new rules 
of political correctness and, and everything else, and uh, they're smart. If they used their brains to, to actually accomplish something beneficial, we'd have something here. The only thing they use their brains for is, this, is the next scheme. The seeds. The next scheme that they come up with or the next hoax that they come up with. And every time they turn around, they're doing it. They're, they're doing it. Every time they have an opportunity, was it uh, 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 <clears throat> Rahm Emanuel said, never let a crisis go to waste. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and, Is that what he said? Oh, yeah. And, never let uh, a good one go. Never let a crisis go to waste. And look at look at what they tried to pack into this uh, coronavirus bill, Nancy Pelosi and her crew. 5,000 pages of revamping our elect uh, election system <laughs> so that so that every fraudulent vote can get in. You know, <laughs> that's what they thought. That's what they tried. And, uh, the, uh, you know, Trump gave them the 25 million for the Kennedy Center for the performing arts. That was important for coronavirus. And 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 all these endowments to these universities that have more money than the federal government are still taking our tax money. Um, we need we need, unfortunately, we need 20 Donald Trump's full time to even begin to scratch the surface of the corruption and the waste in our federal government. But boy, owe them, three, owe them three cents worth of taxes and your life is over. They're coming. You know what I mean? It, it, I heard it, a comedian say something to that effect. Like if uh, Osama bin Laden had a college uh, loan out, they would have found them quicker. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's, it's, ab it's absolutely true. And, and it, it uh, at any rate, you know, that now you know how I, now you know how I feel. <laughs> now you know how I feel about all this crap. <laughs> I I see bullshit everywhere. Every TV commercial, I see that I see the lies. Uh, it just comes from having lived long enough. You you begin to recognize this crap. Every one of these lawyers that comes on TV in the morning, they're all paid. You know, they're all paid contributors. They can't be. These, uh, these, 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 no, I'm not talking okay. about the lawyers on on the news. I'm talking about the ones that advertise the the ambulance chasers. Oh yeah, yeah. come on, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got every, this client every, five million dollars. Yeah, five million. I've actually yeah. seen billboards in Florida. I remember that. Yeah. Well, we got them. We got we got one guy. We got one guy here in Orlando that is that comes right out and he's, he has his people come on there and say Morgan, know, Morgan, Morgan, and well, Morgan, Morgan George. doesn't 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 advertise the uh, uh, the dollar amounts, but Newland does. You yeah, know, yeah. Uh, the dollar. I amounts. even I saw like a one eight hundred you know call, call Popo or I got busted by Popo. I think I saw. There's like yeah. a yeah. it's, it's like pound <laughs> pound lawyer or something, isn't it, Mitch? Yeah. A pound law. That's uh, pound Morgan law. Morgan. Pound law. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. Can you imagine what he spends on, on uh, ads? Oh my God. Yeah. It's got to be an incredible amount. And uh, <laughs> back when I was rolling in dough, he was a he was he lived almost in my neighborhood. But uh, as a long story, I'm not going to say anything because I have all of them chasing me like they got something they can. They, I'll with. tell you something. Uh, we had a hurricane. Now, I didn't know about this till years later, but Florida, is, I knew this. Florida is a no-fault state. I knew that. So one day we had a hurricane, and all the traffic lights went out. And so I'm going through a four-way intersection that has no light. An ambulance with its lights and sirens goes on. I look left, it's clear. I look right, it's clear. I go. I get plowed by an oncoming van. My car was a piece of crap. I said, ah, officer, forget about it. You know what I mean? I don't want to cause any problems. I like the way it. you said that. You said, forget about it. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like so that New way York. that came out. New York, so, forget about uh, it. Yeah. Turns around, uh, Carlos. <laughs> about a year later, I, I don't know what I was doing. I was getting in car, new, new car insurance or something. They said, you had an accident with a payout. I said, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, shit. oh, yeah, you paid somebody. Uh, we, we got a claim and we paid them a thousand dollars on your behalf. Wow. I had not known that they never told me that because I'd have had the other guy, you know, yeah, the other guy when, you, when you're T boned, guess who's in the wrong? Yeah, 
the boner. They, uh, it's a no fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, you say that that happened down here. Florida is a no fault yeah. state, so it doesn't. You know that, that that's they, what I'm saying. And my insurance company paid this clown, and yeah. I didn't know it. They didn't tell me. Well, you might have been able to, it, but it's not worth the trouble. See, that's just it. You try to get justice in the courts. Forget it. Forget oh about God. it. Forget oh about God. it. You, none of you us are going to live Netflix longer. Stuff? You don't even need to be guilty of anything to go to jail. Holy no, that's crazy. And, and you want to avoid this. But even if you want to say this, you say to somebody, yeah, you did that, I'm going to sue you. He said, yeah, I would, yeah well, but neither one of us is going to live long enough for that yeah. to ever play out. And and the only people that make any money are the lawyers. Uh, Blizzard FPV, how you doing? Wants me to run for president. No, nah, thank you. No. <laughs> you say, <laughs> a, I'm, not, uh, I'm not that crazy. Uh at any rate, uh, Kenny Cardoso says he's a liberal. Well, we need to work on you a little, Kenny. Uh, You're a I don't screaming, mind, I don't, screaming liberal. I don't mind. I don't mind. Look, I'm. I've always said that socially, I'm a liberal. You know, I'm not. I'm, me. I'm not yeah, socially, socially, I, 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 you know, as far as uh, like, if I want, if if somebody wants to watch pornography, let them watch pornography. The government should be regulating crap like that. Now, Why can't I be I'm, conservative and think that way? Well, that that's liberal means let people make let, like libertarian. Okay, is lib, libertarian has the word liberty in it. Liberal kind of has the word has the lib in it too. That doesn't mean anything uh, about their beliefs, though. Just tell the you know just tell the just be truthful, accept reality. You know this nonsense about creating all this stuff is what's making me crazy. And unfortunately, look, I come from a family of Democrats. I'm a Philadelphia Jewish kid there's no such thing as a republican jew in in the 50s we never talked uh, pol politics in my house no. we had six kids and two parents never talked politics we talked but reality democrats, but democrats in the 50s and 60s were not these radicals that we have today they started a little bit when when you when we talked when you had the abby hoffman hoffmans and the hippies and and that it but it was nothing like the tactics, nothing like what they what they do today. Uh, How about you they, get a job, you work your ass off supporting a family for six days a week and become a friggin' yeah. liberal? How do you become a liberal out of that? No, you know, know. They, they they say there's an old saying that says if you're if you're uh, a cons if you're when you're 20 years old, if you're a a, a, a conservative, you have no heart if you're 60 years old and you're a liberal you have no brains <laughs> <laughs> and, and that and that's the dichotomy of the two one one is one is about responsibility about uh about responsibility the other is about fairness supposedly that's the that's the uh, uh the hooks that they use everything is unfair it's unfair it's unfair you know, hurt my feel. You hurt my feelings. You know, hurting somebody's feelings is a, is 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 punish is more punishable than murder these days. You call somebody a name, you got to go away for life. You hate crime. Yeah, but uh, Mur I murder mean, somebody, I you're out in ten years. Things, I watch some of these uh, things on Netflix where the cops just want to settle, uh, 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 get a conviction. The dude, the dude was driving a car. He got murder. Convicted of murder by a jury of his peers. A jury who didn't throw the notice away is what he was convicted of. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, 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 this jury of my peers. Uh, you show me a jury of peers. Yeah, you of get my peers, yeah. Like me, and that's a jury. Yeah, Not, yeah, that'll never happen. But, yeah. you know, it's, it's the system that we got, and the best thing to do is, is absolutely avoid it at all costs. Just get a gun, man. Do. Don't ever get arrested Just for murder. You don't need to be proved it. right. Avoid it at all costs if you can. Run and hide from hide from the system. Don't don't get involved because you can't win with them. The old saying, you can't beat City Hall. Remember that? This True. dude was literally driving down the road in a white uh, Ford Explorer. And the guy who had shot the guy was a woman and four people in the white car drove away. So here comes this stupid ass driving down the road, minding his own business with a girl in the car. Arrested and convicted of murder. They got the girl to rat on him because they told her they were going to put him or her in jail for conspiracy to murder. Oh yeah, reliable. Oh, she so, on him. Okay, we reliable, did it. Reliable witnesses. Yeah.
Tesla yeah. line. John Cuppy, cable news media in general is horrible. Yeah, it is. It's not new. You know, I remember we just have too much news. Yeah. The news cycle is three minutes now. It I became remember, a you know, we, subject. We had, we had, and, and you know, the, these people at CNN, know, they, they all know they're lying. Just like people on YouTube who put up phony clickbait to get clicks, get views. What do There's you think the media, what do you think the media needs? It's they business. need views. They need it's views business. and they need clicks and they need, because that's how they get their ratings and their demographics and that's how they charge for their advertising. It's all about the money. So anytime, whether it's true or not, anytime they think they can attract a, a bunch of morons to believe the crap they're putting out, they'll do it. Because a moron pays just as good as a smart person when they're clicking on your on your stuff, you know, just like with YouTube. It doesn't matter if a moron watches your thing or, or a smart person, you get credit for a view. It doesn't matter if they like it or dislike it, you get credit for interaction, you know. So maybe you actually do better on YouTube if you put out stuff that's designed to anger people and piss them off you'll probably get more play you and more interaction than you would if you go on there and, and, and show a picture of your kitty cat, you know? And suck up. <laughs> exactly. It's all about the clicks and the ratings. It's all about the views and it's all about the watch time. And, you know, YouTube is rife with with uh, uh, fraud people. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, 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 when, I, if I, when I get sucked in by a clickbaity thumbnail or something I you get pissed off. off yeah i get yeah. pissed off i say how the hell did i fall for that i should have known you know this is known better yeah because i certainly don't read any of the emails i get you know, <laughs> in my in my in my in my emails telling me all the all this crap but the world is and, and and this corona thing has just opened up a whole new avenue for fraud and deceit you know how many yeah, people are out there trying to out there. i mean you gotta have some common out, sense but people are out there trying to steal stimulus checks from old people already. Yeah. They're already out there calling them on the phone saying, yeah. you got your stimulus check yet? No. Okay, well, you need to hire us. We're, you know, we're gonna, we can get it for you because you know, otherwise you're not gonna get it. And we only want, you know, you need to just give us uh, $300 up front. And when you get your $1,200 check, you know, uh, oh, which you'd be, you'd, yeah. be, you'd, be, you'd be $800 to $900 ahead. Otherwise, you're going to get nothing. So, you know, just here, go to go to Walgreens and buy a gift card yeah. and mail it to us. <laughs> yeah. I had well, one guy. I had one guy. He actually expected me to go when this gift card stuff started. Yeah. You're actually supposed to stay on the phone and yeah. go to some Western Union. Play. I, I asked the guy, I said, now, wait a minute. You actually want me to stay on the phone with you, go to a Western Union joint and I give you money. money. Yeah, and give you money. Does, it, does anybody really what, do this? Yes. Yeah, but do. people do. People do. People I knew do. a guy. I knew. I knew a guy who was a tremendous photographer and a very smart guy whose wife fell for the Nigerian prince scam. Well, she needs to commit suicide. I mean, come on. And they lost. I mean, honest to God, something like eighty or a hundred thousand bucks gone because this. The, you know, the night the Nigerians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigerian, yeah. Yeah. Later. yeah started yeah. it all yeah we need a bank account you know we're gonna you know we have to move all this money from here because he, he right. died and we need to get it out of the we country. need to give it to you if, yeah you we were wanna, chosen no, no no if you let us park it in your bank account yeah, yeah. uh we, we, we we'll let you have two million of it so what happens is you give them all your banking information and the next thing all your money disappears they suck it up yeah, they just they got all your banking information and and your passwords and everything and boom, all of a sudden all your money's gone. Yeah, they clean you out. They do it with your electric's gonna be turned off. The, you know what? They oh, got yeah. my mom. They got my mom with my son and the knucklehead mom of mine went for it. They really? told her Yeah, they told her that uh he was in court, he got into an accident, he hurt somebody and he needs money, otherwise the person's gonna sue. A knucklehead mom and here's, here's the thing that really pissed me off. The first thing they told my mom is don't tell his father. Yep. And I, and I told my mother, I said, what in the world could I have possibly said or done that would cause you not to tell me? Like, well, so yeah, there are, there are knuckleheads out there. <laughs> yeah, how many, how many of these robocalls? How many of these robocalls do you get? You get these robocalls. I get them daily. And I'm on, I'm on all the do not call lists. 
So yeah. I get to, I get to the I get to the point. I never answer them if I don't recognize the number. I don't answer it because they all spoof local area codes. So you think it's somebody Look, local. I have called me. I have emailed me. Yeah. These idiots use my own email to email yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. But this I get this one. I get this one. It's a robo call and and I don't answer it but they they do they do leave a a message on my voicemail. And it I got, says Wait, I got a I was going to play one. I got a lady who called me and said she's sick and tired of me calling her. She's going to hmm. report me to the police. Oh, well, that's because they're using your number. They're, they're using my number. Your, yeah. Yeah, I had that happen once, and I just said, you know, I didn't call you. I said, uh, uh, somebody's using my number, and I wish if there was something I could do about it, I would, but I can't. Sorry. Wow. Um, but anyway, I get I get this call, and it's and it's a woman that says, uh, "We're calling you, no yeah. names, I think. We're calling you as a matter of courtesy uh, to give you a chance to respond to our complaint before we file it against you in court." So if you, if you, if you, you know, if you know what's good for you, basically, you'll call this number and, and you're saying, what, what complaint against me? You know, they act like they're collect, you know, and I don't owe anybody any money and I, I don't, nobody has any hold or claim on me at this point. So I, I, you know, you know, it's phony, but it just pisses you off that it's like, it's like, being th it's like the world is a den of wolves yes. and you're oh, yeah. you're the fr and you're the fresh meat and they're just constantly nipping at you nipping at Waiting you nipping to trying to trying to pounce and, he, and and why do we let th these people get away with it there's no way they ever get caught or they ever get punished for this crap you know and then some lawyer comes and says are you being hounded on the phone hire us we 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 could get you we may get you as much as Fifteen hundred dollars for each call that you've erroneously received, or okay? nothing. Yeah, or nothing. Yeah, <laughs> we may. May is a great word, or yeah. may not get you as <laughs> much as as much as. That's like save this business. Save as much as fifty percent. So you go into the store. It says, "Well, you got a sign up there. That says save fifty percent." So no, it says save as much as fifty percent. But, but you raise the prices forty percent. But not only that, but but that you can save fifty percent only on this thing that nobody wants. The rest of everything save 100%, else, you save you save two percent. You save two percent. You know, uh, as little <laughs> as when you, you buy a car, you can buy this car for as little as yeah. Well, as little as doesn't include seats, wheels, and a motor. But a motor, you know, right? There is. It, we're not lying when we say you can buy it for as low as. You know as what, much Bob? And they, they allow it, and they shouldn't. At the end of certain commercials, either on the radio, sometimes on TV, but mainly on the radio, the guy talks at about 70 miles an hour with, like, a disclaimer. And and they allow that. Even even this uh, fine print, it's, like, minuscule. Who reads fine print? I mean, things should be out and Thank in the you, open. Jim. Yeah. I just read that, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that fine print. Oh my! If you're fast enough to see that on the TV too, Carlos, awesome. you know where it says only you know because my cable seventy five dollars a month, only thirty nine ninety five. If you can catch that small print fast enough, that's for six months. After that, it goes to yeah. eighty nine ninety nine. The new plan and, rate. And right. a lot of times it's if, but you have to bundle it with all this other crap to get there. Yeah, correct. Place. Well, you know, I got this. For no purchase necessary, offer valid at participating locations, void where prohibited, no animals were harmed during the production of this soundboard, huh. subject to change without notice, side effects include dry mouth, occasional pig snort or two, sore stomach, teary eyes, achy jaws, and whatever tingles well, laughing hard. There you go. And vaginal itch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're sure talking a lot of, a lot of technical crap tonight, aren't we, guys? <laughs> I saw one, Mitch. I, I forget which new drug it was. I swear to God, I'm not making this up. It actually said anal warts. Oh, 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 they, 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 they had this when this Olestra came out. Remember that, that fat, the fat yeah. substitute. Yeah. yeah. They, they didn't say anal warts. They said anal leaking may cause anal <laughs> leaking. Okay. That might be it. That I remember that. I remember that. 
I remember that. Yeah, I would you know, remember that too. <laughs> I, I laugh so hard because I get my granddaughter to watch this crap. I, you know, I'm trying to teach her everything I can before I die. You know what I mean? Hurry up yeah. before you die, because they say by the time you're 18, if you were just not today, <laughs> but by the time you're 18, you've seen like a, a 10 million commercials or something like that. Uh, I mean, 20 minutes out of out of 60 is commercials in a TV show. And most of it is about alcohol or. Uh, Freaking junk. Yeah. You John, John Cuppy says my monkey looks uncomfortable. My you monkey's gotta, you know, this has been going on for three three hours now, guys. An hour overtime. I think it's about time to call it a night here. Uh oh. Well, we're just but, having uh, fun anyway. We're just you know bullshitting. What? You know, I'm trying to do a technical show, but it turns out that that I have much more fun venting in a manner <laughs> like this. Because I you know, I certainly I certainly have my opinions, and I'm probably capable of a world-class rant if you get me started. Uh, the problem is when you get two like-minded idiots together, like me. Oh, uh, well, I think, I think people, the argument don't stop. I think most of us in our community lean conservative. I think that's just the kind of people that you find that are technical, like the, the, the hobby that we have, the drones. Although the photography end of it, I, I, I would I would say that uh, a lot of the arts, people who are in the arts and things like that, tend to be more liberal. But uh, yeah, but your Type A personalities, they don't tend to fall for the bullshit like these other people yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's no doubt that that we're a Type I, A. I've been questioning everything for the longest. I don't believe anything I hear. Well, I I, mean, I, I, reason, I believe certain reason. I believe I believe certain things. In other words, I've <laughs> no, recognized I'm just saying, yeah. I've recognized when when Trump came down that, that escalator and gave that first speech, I I sat there in amazement. And basically, said the guy is is reading my mind. All the crap I've been so upset about over all these years of the way our country runs itself. He's just summarized everything. I said. I said, that's it. And I became a supporter of it because he was the only one that, 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 that said, you know, the business about trade imbalances and the, and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the, and the swamp and the corruption and, and uh, the military going to hell and not, you know, not have it running well, out of bullets. Well, who did that? The and, last three administrations raped the military. Of course. Of Bases course. that they, I was in are gone, wiped off the map. Yeah, but that wasn't just Democrats. We had some. We had a Republican in there, you know. Yeah. And I thought George Bush. Bush was a good, good old boy. But I, 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 a lot of stuff I didn't agree with. But, but he was pushed around. See, he let the liberals yeah. push him around. Yeah. He let the media push. He was scared to death of that. <laughs> and that's how they've maintained their hold on things. If, if, uh, if people really knew or believed or were told the tactics that they're using, um, they would be disgusted, but they're ne they don't get it. N none of this news gets, none of the stuff that you and I hear ever gets to most of the people who watch the news. They watch NBC, CBS, ABC, CNN. God forbid they watch MSNBC, which is just nothing but political activism. Uh, but you got to say to some of these people, when was it exactly that you became so goddamn gullible? You yeah. know what I'm saying? When did you well, stop questioning? Uh, but a they car don't. Being a car? They, they, they. I don't, don't think they know never enough. did question. They to don't begin. know what they don't know. See, that's the problem. Is so many people just don't know because they're too worried about who's going to win American Idol this week to have to deal with. You know what else? Like I, this, I believe you know? once somebody leaves their work and they go in their house, that's it. They don't care about what happens out there, and they don't well, think I, whatever I don't happens you, out there is going to affect you. But it does. I, of course, it does. I care. But they don't I, think I, that way. But there's nothing, there's nothing I can do about it, other than vote, you know, and hope that my vote isn't offset by some illegal vote. Somebody who shouldn't have the right to vote, who never, who who came in here and stole everything, is on the public dole, is not a citizen, gets health care, and you know, and a driver's license, and a driver's license, <laughs> and everything. Well, that's they do that so they can register them they, any way they can, and uh, the the. The, they keep trying to keep they keep trying to change the election laws and trying to figure out how to get more and more of these people because the whole liberal philosophy is get these people dependent on government and then the government has the power they they, they don't want people that. That, the they loves. don't want people they don't want people to have power they want they want and that's what socialism is all about and if we're not careful we're headed there because the fact that those those four 
<laughs> treasonous anti-American women are now U.S. congressmen making $170,000 a year is enough to make me crazy. Somebody voted for those people. I know. That, that California that, communist. Who's that? Not that many. Oh. Ocasio run with uh, yeah. one with like 16,000 votes. How the hell did, did, who would vote for her? How did she get on the ticket? They bought well, her. That's what I wonder about ticket. presidents and anybody. How do they get on the ticket? Uh, Makes you wonder. I've know. heard, I've heard that they interviewed, that they, they had, they started with 12,000 potential candidates for that seat and her, and she was anointed. She had everything they, they, they needed in a, in a radical. She had, she was good looking. She, uh, obviously you know, controllable. Yeah, uh, completely. Her, her yeah. look at the campaign finance allegations against that guy that ran her campaign. But but then we got Rashida Tlaib. I don't even know a real a real Thank proud God. Michigan, a real proud American, and <laughs> and Ilhan Omar, another real proud. Are these the ones with the headdress on and all that? Oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. They're all minorities. They're all wild radicals, and they all got elected. Why? Because the they're media, in California, right? No, the media had everybody convinced that Donald Trump was a Russian spy. The oh, that whole Putin conservatives, crap? the conservatives stayed home. Shame on them in the midterms, and we lost the house. And if we don't get the house back now, we're in for another four years of fighting, impeachment, investigations. They already are formed a select committee to investigate how Donald Trump handled the coronavirus. So you can see it coming. Got I, want a, I, want a, I want a dollar for dollar account. I want to know how much money has been wasted on this bullshit. Oh, and give that back to, well, then give it back to the American well, people. Who are, who are, yeah, but who are we mere peons to question the, 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 her, their highnesses that live in luxury and get big salaries and perks and staff and big retirements because we elected them to serve us. Once they get there, they don't serve us anymore. We serve them. And that's well, you, the problem. Look, you've heard of prosecutorial misconduct. This is yes. governmental misconduct. How does that you, not? Yeah. But the problem is all the people, half the people that whose job it is to investigate this are on their side as well, evidenced yeah, by well, the, F by the, F the FBI business was handled, the justice department, you know, Loretta Lynch meeting with Bill Clinton oh, on during the Hillary's election on the plane. Yeah, they were talking was about okay. It. Nothing to see here, folks. Waters. Nothing to see here, folks. But but if that was Donald Trump, if Donald Trump's kid took a billion and a half dollars out of China after going to China with his old man on Air Force One, they they they'd have the guy on death row. But Joe Biden, ah, nothing to see here, folks. It's okay. And that's the problem. They don't even that's investigate the, Joe Biden. I wonder why. They I mean, take a they, look because he's a Democrat, and Democrats can do no wrong because but the how end the always justifies the happen. means. You have to have a majority because for that, most Republican most Republicans are scared shitless of Democrats. The politicians. Why? You don't I don't see it. I don't get it. That's because, not been my impression. In my impression. Well, you look at guys like they just scream you know, louder than we do. Look what they did to Mitt Romney and look at what he's turned into. That's another story. If you remember the old elevator trick, cost him the election. If you don't if you don't remember that, look up Romney elevator. Google it. <laughs> Well, no, All right, guys. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna shut it down. Not only am I getting tired, but I think our audience is getting tired too. It's, it's uh, three hours, and I've been gone for three hours. And you know, I did an eleven-hour stream with Ed yesterday. I'm streamed out. Uh, you know what? I saw that. I was on that for a little <laughs> while. And I saw you guys were still at it at night. You were all crazy. I don't have that much time on my stream yards. I better get out of here. <laughs> whoa, so, whoa, uh, whoa! Look what Craig says. There's, there's three hundred. Uh, what are those MPs? They're like member congressmen. Yeah, member of parliaments. In, in New Zealand government and only 4.7 million people. Wow. Holy cow. Ice cream is melted. <laughs> well, Greg, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming in. Kenny, thank you for coming in, buddy. Uh, RJ's, thank you. Uh, 
<laughs> and Timeless Truths is here. Drone Days still hanging around. Thanks Mitch, a lot for being here. Uh, Rick Halver. Is Rick still here? Yeah, he just drones. got in. Oh. Ed. Oh, oh, and the, oh, there it is. John Thank, yeah, see you Thursday, Rick. Yeah, John, John Cuppy. Timeless Truth. Thank you so much for coming. Is it Cuppy or Cuppy? Ed. I don't know. I, one of these days I'd say Cuppy. Love my I'd drones, Ed. Thank you. And uh, we know this back from the sky guy. Uh, we know him drone days. Blizzard <laughs> FPV. If you're still here, thanks for coming in. Yeah, John. Okay, guys. At any rate. Nice uh, good night. Hey, it was good. I, I got a lot of shit off my chest. I got to rant and rave a little bit. I hope I... I, I I'm still going to call you one day, Mitch, and pick your brain. Okay. And tomorrow I'm going to sit down and get my and get my my orange you? cube working and all that other stuff. See you, Jim. Night. Thank you. Carlos, night, take Mitch. care. You're and uh, thanks a lot. That leaves me and the monkey, and we're both getting tired. So... Uh, with that, guys, I'm going to say good night. Take the rest of the day off. The little love that there is left. Go play with your drones if they let you out. And uh, have a great time. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to my buddy who behaved himself all night sitting back there, not saying much. Spank, and uh, let him say good night to everybody. So, Spank, say good night. Okay.